is touching the truth. Chinjo, do you think Gion will become my sister-in-law in the future? Kaido speaks in a low voice while covering his face with the wine barrel as if to prevent others from hearing his voice. Hearing Kaido's words, Chinjo feels strange. Why does this sentence feel so awkward boss Kaido, I think it's possible. Gion is so beautiful, and... Chinjo glanced and found that Kaishu was not looking there, so he started speaking with Kaido in a low voice. Ho ho ho, I'm so handsome. Why haven't any girls noticed me Queen was accompanied by two crew members while dancing strange steps together, said unconvincedly. Keep your voice down, idiot Kaido knocked the narcissistic queen down with one punch while whispering a warning. Um however, how sharp are Kaishu's senses naturally noticing the change in the surrounding atmosphere, he turned his head with some doubts. It was the pair of slightly hasty eyes that met him. The guys who were looking at Kaishu lowered their heads in an instant when he looked at them, and their eyes were filled with more or less a little guilt. Just as Kaishu opened his mouth to ask something, a ray of light suddenly appeared in the distant forest this time, the light seemed to be some kind of signal, and countless torches suddenly lit up, illuminating the entire forest like a day. Kaishu noticed the murderous cold light refracted under the firelight here we come I thought I had to wait until tomorrow, but I didn't expect them to be so fast. It's really great Kaishu's observation hockey spread, and he found a large number of samurai coming here to launch a sneak attack there was a satisfied smile on the corner of Kaishu's mouth, and a bloodthirsty light flashed in his eyes. Kill for the sake of the Kazuki family, kill all these outsiders the shame must be washed away with their blood stupid beasts pirates, repent for insulting Odensima numerous samurais wearing Ueno's unique clothes while holding torches came out of the forest and charged toward the beast pirates with killing intent on their faces. I didn't expect that they would take the initiative to deliver themselves. Moo ha 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 ha, the weapon invented can be finally used kill them let's start. I can't wait the crew members of Beast Beasts, who were still drinking, came to their senses in an instant, they did not expect the samurai from Ueno to take the initiative to attack them so quickly. The crew members all evacuated to the ship, with zombified Captain John and powerful artillery. It's enough to protect the ship from being destroyed. You must know that the Erebus has firepower comparable to Buster Calls. In addition, being in the rear, it is necessary to break through Kaishu and others' defenses to attack the ships behind. Kaishu laughed back angrily. Sometimes, absolute cruelty is more useful than the so-called kindness for fools. Give them a strong sense of despair so that they will not buzz around. Brothers, let's kill them all oh Kaido and the others were also full of murderous intent, their eyes flickered fiercely, and their expressions were even a little excited. Roar Kaido roared and transformed into a green dragon stretching meters long. He stands proudly between heaven and earth. The situation is throbbing. Thunder and lightning flash across the sky that. That is. A dragon it's really. A dragon could it be that the dragon that Ryuma killed a hundred years ago is resurrected my god there really are dragons in this world seeing the sacred and majestic dragon hovering in the sky, all the samurais stopped in their tracks, with wide open mouths and a look of disbelief on their faces. How could there be a dragon behind the group of samurais stood a row of Ueno's high-ranking people. The leader was Shogun Kazuki Sukiyaki. At this moment, he looked at the green dragon hovering in the clouds of lightning and thunder, and his face was full of horror. Kazuki Odin was also surprised, but he quickly suppressed the shock in his heart and said loudly, whether it is a real dragon or not, as long as he wants to occupy Ueno, we will kill him that's right, what the Ryuma could do back then, I believe Odensima can do the same. Fujetsu Omusabai can be said to be the number one supporter of Kazuki Odin's succession as the Shogun. So, after he recovered from the shock, he spoke with certainty. Don't hesitate, for the honor of the Kazuki family, kill Shimatsuki Ashimaru stood up and pointed toward the beast pirates while shouting. That's right slaying a dragon is the greatest honor for a samurai kill for Kozukisama beasts pirates, die. For the Kazuki family, for the Ueno the samurai army of more than 000, with fanatical eyes, firmly clenched the swords in their hands and launched a charge frantically. Slay a dragon after slaying the dragons above them, they, too, can become legends of Ueno. For the samurai, the glory that is enough to be recorded in the history of Ueno, how can it not make them crazy stupid ants, also dare to challenge me Kaido let out a majestic and disdainful roar, then opened his mouth wide and condensed a flame on it. 
heat breath a terrifying flame that could destroy the world fell from the sky. The scorching flames impacted and blasted straight to the ground. Not good double swords cross cut one sword still one knife flow. Ah boom, the scorching flames fell straight down from the sky. The samurais wanted to cut off the raging flames, but they were swallowed by the flames like a mayfly shaking a tree. With the forest as the center, the monstrous flame swept towards Curry all of a sudden, the entire forest was on fire, the ground was scorched black, and the samurais were howling in the sea of flames it's like purgatory on earth ah help me. Fire. Please help me ah ordinary samurai could not resist the terrifying sea of flames at all, they could only utter a shrill scream before being swallowed by the flames and burned to ashes but after all, it is Wano, a country full of samurai. Many of them show their skills by cutting off the flames, jumping into the air, or working together to cut a passage in the sea of fire. Kaido's flame, which was strong enough to burn a mountain, can only burn less than a thousand samurais to death. But such destructive power, in the eyes of this group of samurais, is terrifying. Is this the strength of a dragon we lost a third of our samurais in one blow? Weird. Monster damn it to kill my best friend, that dragon must be killed kill for the glory of the Kazuki family, charge with me under the leadership of Kiniman, Denjiro, Ashura Doji, and other daimyo retainers, they raised their swords, took the lead. And rushed to the forefront without fear. Hayahohoho, boss Kaido, you kill too much at once. Chinjo touched his head while looking at the sea of fire in front of him with a smile. That's right Queen raised his hands and said dissatisfied, my weapons haven't even been displayed yet. Gion didn't say a word, her eyes scanned the rushing samurais as if she were looking for an opponent worthy of drawing her sword. Wa'aro aro aro aro. The green dragon hovering in the sky gave an inspiring laugh. Come on kill them king and bullet rushed out first. There were more than 000 samurais on the opposite side, but these two little guys went forward without fear. Ah while running, Bullet turned into a six-maturtle white bear, the devil fruit development has improved again, revealing his dense, sharp white fang as he roared King's body is entwined with raging flames, like a burning man. Which is intimidating. Dai Kiniman rushed to the front, and with a cold light flashing in his eyes, he used foxfire style that could cut off flames to slash toward King. Clang, but at this moment, a sword blocked Kiniman's attack, and sparks flew everywhere when their sword collided. Kiniman raised his head unwillingly and met a pair of cold eyes. Don't bully the trainee crew of our pirate group. I will be your opponent. Gion looks at Kiniman coldly. Bang ah the huge white bear and king rushed into the samurais, showing unmatched strength. The bear's paw slapped the sword with terrifying force, flattening the sword with the samurai's chest. King's flame was even more terrifying. The golden flames around him turn all the swords that slash towards him into molten iron. This flame. Ah ah ah. The samurai who got a little closer felt extremely hot, his skin was prickly like a needle, and his internal organs felt like they were on fire, making him extremely uncomfortable. That is simply the effect of high temperature. Samurai who don't know armament hockey can't get close to king at all. Kiniman, we're here to help you at this time, after only a moment of fighting, Kiniman has already fallen into an obvious disadvantage. Kiniman has just become a swordsman, so how can he be Gion's opponent just a few collisions made Kiniman feel the breath of death. At this moment, he already had several cuts on his body, and his clothes were soaked in blood. Bang Denjiro and Ashura Doji shot at Gion at the same time. Gion's complexion remained unchanged, her eyes were cold, and she was not disadvantaged in one against three. Don't back down follow along and keep charging for the great Kazuki family as if sensing the fear of the samurai, Daimyo Shimatsuki Ashimaru stepped forward. Then, he rushed out with a sword in his hand, but before the samurai could react, Shimatsuki Ashimaru's body flew back at a faster speed. The samurais looked up and saw that the person responsible for it was a man five meters tall, with a long all head that was as black as ink and a ghostly aura exuding from his body. Beasts pirates, Chinjo the drill great Kazuki family Hayahohoho, you're just a group of vulnerable guys Chinjo taunted unceremoniously, then, with a grin, he rushed towards the group of samurai in front of him. Hashoken secret art, drill dragon nail clang boom, the seemingly sharp samurai sword is no match for the tip of Chinjo's head. Under the violent impact, 
dozens of samurais with shattered swords flew up high while spitting out blood from their mouths before falling down one by one like dumplings. Moo ha 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 ha, group of idiots, try my plague bomb with a cigar in his mouth, Queen pulled out a gatling gun from nowhere and fired at samurais excitedly. Da 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 ah there were screams from countless samurais blood sprayed out everywhere. Severed hands, broken feet, organs, and human heads kept rolling to the ground. The entire battlefield fell into huge chaos. But that's not the scariest. The most creepy thing is that those samurai who survived had green stripes on their bodies as they kept screaming in pain. Then, a samurai who wanted to rescue the wounded was instantly infected with the virus. Then from one to two, ten, hundred. In less than ten minutes, hundreds of samurais were infected. This virus is just like its name, a plague. It's so contagious see, this is the power of science queen proudly showed off in Chinjo and others' direction. Indeed, in terms of the number of kills, no one except Kaido can match queen. For queen, the results of the weapons he developed are even more fulfilling than killing people with his own strength. This is the pride that belongs to a scientist roar Kaido's huge body hovered in the clouds, and with every gesture, he brought down terrible disasters. Dozens of thunderbolts fell from the sky, instantly turning the center of the battlefield into a sea of lightning. ZZZ boom on none of the hundreds of samurais was spared, and they were all bombarded by lightning. In the face of this horrific natural disaster, they didn't even have the power to resist at all, and their shrill screams disappeared into the air along with the rumbling sound of thunder. In the dark night, the little stars and the bright moonlight give this land a light. However, tonight's Wano seems to be more than that, and the Itachi port is full of flames. At this moment, the Itachi port is covered with scorched trees, and corpses of samurais can be seen everywhere. No seeing that Wano's samurai were being slaughtered, Kazuki Odin couldn't bear it anymore. Clang he pulls out his two swords and rushes into the dilapidated battlefield. Odin two sword style, samurai great spirit Kazuki Odin's goal is the green dragon in the sky that's wreaking havoc on the ground with flames and lightning. Boom but a huge shadow completely covered him, and then a gust of sharp wind blew up from the pitch black fist, directly hitting Kazuki Odin's swords. Boom Kazuki Odin felt like he was hit by a meteor. His eyes were widened to the maximum, and his eyeballs almost protruded. Then he spit out a mouthful of blood while in the air and smashed into the ground like heavy artillery. Odensima my lord protect Odensima damn pirate, don't even think about hurting Odensima. Everyone, it's time to sacrifice our lives for the Kazuki family, while watching Kazuki Odin fall to the ground from Kaishu's single punch, the samurai were completely outraged. While holding their weapon, they charge fearlessly at Kaishu. The samurai of Ueno are different from those soldiers of world government affiliated countries. Leaving aside the strength of these samurais, their almost foolish loyalty and belief alone made the killing intent in the opponent's eyes even stronger. Two sword style, Scarlet Blade One Sword Style, Crimson Cut Ninja Art, Stealth Technique. Ninja Art, Shuriken Technique. Crash dozens of samurai teamed up and erupted with powerful force. They took the lead and tried to block Kaishu's step get out of the way Kaishu just casually swung his fist, and a shock wave visible to the naked eye shot out, instantly dissipating all the attacks. Then, the unabated fist blasted away the dozens of samurais and ninjas who got in the way. Die damn pirate at this time, a fat and burly figure suddenly appears and launches a surprise attack like a ghost. One sword style of the flower, flaming hair of holy rage there was an unknown flame on the sword that swept out towards Kaishu's neck from behind. Obviously, he had planned this sneak attack for a long time. With such quick speed, tricky position, and the right timing, it is almost impossible for Kaishu to dodge it in this figure's eyes, there was a triumphant and excited light. Clang metal clatter and sparks fly everywhere the incomparably sharp sword slashed at the back of Kaishu's neck, but it only cut through his skin, and the sword was tightly clamped by Kaishu's muscles, making it difficult for it to cut down further. How can it be the man's eyes widened, and his voice was full of disbelief that it Kaishu slapped the man who sneak attacked him to the ground with a backhand slap. Hayagorasama at this time, Kazuki Odin stood up and shouted with concern. That's right, the one who attacked Kaishu was none other than Hayagoro, the underworld boss of Flower Capital, whom Odin admired very much. Cough, I'm fine. Hayagoro wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and stood up tremblingly. 
Odin, let's go together good one sword style of the flower, flaming hair of holy rage Odin two sword style, samurai great spirit terrifying slashes one after the other attack Kaishu at the same time. Is this all you can do Kaishu had already sensed Hayagoro's strength, and he couldn't help but feel disappointed. Shua covering his hand with armament hockey, Kaishu caught Hayagoro's sword and held it tightly. Too weak then he covered his right fist with armament hockey and punched Kazuki Odin again. Boom it's unsurprising that no matter how brilliant the skills are, they look so ridiculous in front of absolute power. Kaishu just punched hard and knocked Kazuki Odin out again. Again Hayagoro wanted to retract and slash his sword again, but he found that Kaishu's grasp was so firm that he couldn't take back his sword how come his eyes under the sunglasses turned pale with shock. Mountain crusher Kaishu grinned ferociously and punched Hayagoro with his right fist terrifying black lightning rippled on Kaishu's right fist like a volcano that was about to explode. This attack is obviously used with conqueror hockey entanglement. Hayagoro immediately gave up his sword and rolled sideways vigorously to avoid Kaishu's attack. But conqueror hockey's entanglement is simply too strong. Even though Hayagoro had escaped Kaishu's attack range, he was still. Wow Hayagoro spat out a mouthful of blood and flew out a hundred meters away. Many samurais were knocked into the air along the way, and their bodies were deeply embedded in the ground, with their life and death uncertain. Hayagorasama he actually actually defeated Hayagorasama and Odensama one after another. What kind of monster is this guy the samurai who were still in the middle of the battle saw Hayagoro and Odin, whom they admired, being subdued one by one made them begin to doubt their lives what's all the fuss about that's our captain, that's a normal thing. It's because your two week seclusion has completely obscured your vision. You don't know how strong the monsters in the sea are mu ha 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 ha, but captain didn't kill as many samurais as me. Chinjo, Gion, Queen, and others were very calm after seeing Kaishu easily defeat his opponent. It's just two guys who are comparable to the Admiral's candidates, and they are not much stronger than Queen. Isn't it normal to be instantly defeated by Kaishu at this moment, Kaishu's pupils became bloodthirsty after smelling the strong smell of blood on the battlefield. His expression became ferocious and terrifying, he clenched his fist and descended from the sky into the crowd, and after accumulating his power, he punched forward the shock wave from his fist expanded rapidly like flying slash. And it directly covered an entire area ah the deafening roar resounded through heaven and earth as if hundreds of kilograms of TNT exploded, and an extremely huge circular pothole appeared in everyone's field of vision. All the samurais in the vicinity were killed by this punch, and there were no bones with just one blow, hundreds of samurais were wiped out. Queen, was my voice a little loud just now captain won't hear it, Right our queen stopped playing around at this time, and with a loud roar, his figure swelled rapidly in the blink of an eye, an extremely large brachiosaurus covered in metal and with a height of over meters appeared under the moonlight. Another weird, monster they're all a bunch of. Demons we. Can't win ah even the foolish and loyal samurais lost their fighting spirit when they saw how one-sided this war was. All of them looked at the huge monster in front of them with dull eyes and fear. These invaders are all monsters even Gorosama and Kazuki Odensama, whom they admire, are not their opponents. Their army was defeated by just a few people, and it was a crushing defeat with heavy casualties at first, there were more than 000 samurais and ninjas, but now there are less than. Hey, of course, you can't win. We are the beasts pirates boom the Brachiosaurus stomped hard on the ground, and a dozen or so ninjas couldn't even scream as they were directly trampled into meat paste. The so-called sword slash and ninjutsu can't even leave marks on the metal on the surface of this brachiosaurus. Ueno, who has a large number of samurai, is so vulnerable in front of the beast's pirates. This is the disadvantage of closing the country's border. Vision, heart and strength are all restricted. They are still immersed in the glorious period brought by Ryuma. They don't even know how terrifying the powerhouses in the sea are today monsters like Kaishu, Roger, Whitebeard, etc can destroy a country like a breeze. Shigunsama, please leave now sensing that the situation was not good, several confidants of Kazuki Sukiyaki hurried to persuade him. But that I, I can't just abandon my subject. Kazuki Sukiyaki looks very troubled, he did not expect the beast pirates to be so strong the army of samurai he was proud of was no match at all. The samurai are now suffering heavy casualties, and looking at the corpses of his subjects, Kazuki Sukiyaki's heart is bleeding. 
Damn pirates why invade us we never messed with the outside word Kazuki Sukiyaki, who was extremely angry, looked at Kaishu while letting out a hoarse roar. If eyes could kill, Kaishu would have been killed by Kazuki Sukiyaki dozens of times. After living in this world for so long, don't you even know such a simple truth weakness? Is a sin in itself. Satisfied, Kaishu threw down the shriveled corpse of the samurai while his body exuded a cold and terrifying aura. Looking at Kazuki Sukiyaki, who was extremely angry, he replied mockingly. Damn it Kaishu's contemptuous attitude deeply hurt Kazuki Sukiyaki's self-esteem. As the shogun of this country, he has always been respected wherever he goes. When did he suffer such a great humiliation clan Kazuki Sukiyaki draws out his sword and is about to step forward to fight these invaders Shigunsama please don't go you are the shogun of this country. You must not take action yourself if you fall into the hands of those pirates, I'm afraid your life will be lost, Shigunsama please leave here immediately we will block the enemy for you the retainers said earnestly, with tears in their eyes. Gufufufu, where can you escape now Kazuki Sukiyaki, it's the end of your Kazuki family. At this time, an arrogant and sinister voice came from Kazuki Sukiyaki in others' rear location. Who Kazuki Sukiyaki turned his head to look, and then his eyes narrowed. In the dark area behind them, three figures came out. The one walking in the forefront is a teen with a big head and mouth. On his is an old man holding a lute, while on his right is a woman who looks like a witch. Behind the three of them are more than a hundred menacing samurais. Orochi Kazuki Sukiyaki instantly recognizes the one walking at the forefront. This is Shimatsuki Yajui's servant. Gufufufu, Shogun, once again, I would like to introduce myself to you, I'm Kurizumi Orochi. Kurizumi Oroki's eyes shone coldly, and then he smiled evilly while speaking. Kazuki Sukiyaki's pupils dilated instantly, and he stared at Orochi with an ugly expression, Kurizumi that's right, I'm from the Kurizumi family that you wiped out. Kurizumi Orochi showed a fierce look and said with hatred on his face, You didn't expect that the Kurizumi family you wiped out back then still have bloodline, and they want to take revenge on your Kazuki family, did you Kazuki Sukiyaki heard the screams of samurai from the port direction. And then he looked at Kurizumi Orochi with hatred while feeling more unease in his heart. However, as the patriarch of the Kazuki family and the shogun of the country, Kazuki Sukiyaki still has no trace of timidity on his face. Humph, a group of treasonous fish who slipped through the net gufufufu. The murderous look in Kurizumi Oroki's eyes became a bit stronger as he laughed wildly. Kill Kazuki Sukiyaki and conqueror the Ueno if we win this battle, Ueno will belong to our Kurizumi family from now on Kurizumi Orochi drew out his sword and roared, boosting the morale of the samurai behind him. Then he led Kurizumi Higarashi, Kurizumi Semimaru, and hundreds of samurais behind him to attack Kazuki Sukiyaki charge, wipe out the remnants of the Kurizumi family Kazuki Sukiyaki did not show any weakness and led Fujetsu Omusubai, Shimatsuki Yajui, and dozens of samurai to meet the enemy at the rear. Bang all. For the Kazuki family, for the Ueno kill for Orokizuma go to hell. Boom ah the samurais of both sides collided under the leadership of their respective monarchs Ueno's civil war unfolded at this moment. Um however, such a development surprised Kaishu. Are these samurai? Are all idiots Kaishu looked at the samurais, who started to kill each other and felt speechless for a while. Can't you see that he and the beast's pirates are Ueno's worst enemies that idiot Kurizumi Orochi wouldn't think that he would support him after killing the Kazuki family, would he forget it? Kaishu couldn't understand the brain circuits of these samurais. Take Kazuki Odin, for example, who can be said to be an out-and-out -out pervert. When he was six years old, he started to regularly roam the red light district, and when he was years old, he kidnapped women at night to form a harem in the mountains. He also puts green hats on many men in Ueno. But these people still worship him extremely and even think that Kazuki Odin is a bohemian, a person who lives and acts free of regard for conventional rules and practices. In Kaishu's view, everyone in Ueno, whether they are samurais or civilians, has been brainwashed by the long-term rule of the Kazuki family. It's no wonder that in the manga, Kaido and Oroki's request is to let Kazuki Odin dance naked in the flower capital, which lasts for five years. Doing so not only gives them time to expand the power of the beast pirates but also eliminates the deep-rooted beliefs of the people in the Kazuki family. Odensama, are you okay Kenjuro had also been affected by Kaishu's explosive punch. At this moment, he was in a mess and suffered a lot. However, 
he still quickly ran to Kazuki Odin and helped him up from the rubble. Cough. Kazuki Odin's face was a little pale at this time, and his whole body was covered with wounds. He didn't expect that, despite teaming up, the gap between them and Kaishu would still be so big Kenjuro, take everyone and my father back to the flower capital. Kazuki Odin clenched his two swords while staring at Kaishu resolutely. But Odensama, so you are already gravely wounded. Kenjuro looked anxiously at Kazuki Odin, who was about to fight to the death, with tears on his face. Don't be sad, Kenjuro, take everyone away. Kazuki Odin gave Kenjuro a thankful look, then he stepped forward with two swords in hand and said firmly, Protect my father, he is the shogun of this country. Nothing must happen to him. For Ueno, please Hayagoro also stood up at this time, and when he heard what Kazuki Odin said, he smiled boldly and said, We samurai haven't lost yet life liberation alongside Kazuki Odin's loud roar, his wounds began to heal rapidly. His entire body flushed, and a reddish steam came out of his body. Oh is it the secret technique of burning the vitality looking at Kazuki Odin, who was emitting steam all over his body while his momentum constantly rose, Kaishu smiled calmly. Kaishu has seen too many of these kinds of methods. Like the Marine's life return, Saimai Kikin, and Luffy's second gear in the manga can achieve the same effect. They are all techniques to gain powerful strength in a short time by burning vitality. I swear on the honor of the Kazuki family. You won't be allowed to act recklessly again pirates Kazuki Odin was glowing red all over his body, and his aura had broken through to a higher level. Yeah a playful smile suddenly hung on the corner of Kaishu's mouth, then you, better be careful Puchi, the sound of the sharp blade piercing into the flesh echoes through the battlefield what Kazuki Odin's pupils dilated, and he lowered his head in disbelief, only to see a bloody sword protruding out of his chest. Kenjuro. Yu Kazuki Odin turned his head stiffly and looked in disbelief at the man who attacked him from behind. But this time, what he met was not a respectful and adoring face. But a face full of triumphant and sinister looks. Odensama, Kurizumi Kenjuro sends his regards. Kenjuro stabbed the sword in his hand all the way, and then he approached Kazuki Odin while smiling evilly. Kazuki Odin's pupils dilated, and he understood everything instantly, Kurizumi Kenjuro. Odensama Odensama. How impossible Kenjuro, what are you doing Kenjuro, you actually assassinated Odensama damn it, I will never forgive you. Ah gufufufu, well done, Kurizumi Kenjuro all the samurai who saw this scene were shocked, especially Kinemon, Denjiro, and several other retainers. From shock to disbelief and then to fury only the Kurizumi Orochi in the distance laughed heartily and triumphantly. Odin Kazuki Sukiyaki was gnashing his teeth, and when Kurizumi Orochi said Kenjuro's full name, he knew that this had been a conspiracy planned by the Kurizumi family for many years. Puchi, Wo Kenjuro showed no mercy as he pulled out the sword with all his strength and quickly backed away. Kazuki Odin clutched his chest, but he couldn't stop the blood from oozing out. It's really funny. The corners of Kaishu's mouth turned up as he laughed mockingly. Your Excellency, the Kurizumi family is willing to join hands with Your Excellency to destroy the Kazuki family. Kurizumi Kenjuro saluted slightly and humbly said to Kaishu. Did you just say joining hands that's right ya ha ha ha. Hearing this, Kaishu burst into laughter suddenly, and then he shouted coldly, Stop joking what qualifications do you have to join forces with me you're just a bunch of rats in the gutter Kenjuro's face changed instantly, and he said seriously. Your Excellency underestimates the Kazuki family, there are still many families in Ueno loyal to. Before Kenjuro finished speaking, a fist magnified in his pupil. Boom Kenjuro held up his sword to block it, but he was sent flying together with his sword. Noisy Kaishu appeared in front of the seriously injured Kenjuro instantly, then he grabbed him and looked at him with fierce eyes while saying, I don't need others to tell me what to do. Ah uh, under Kenjuro's frightened and distorted scream, Kaishu bit his neck. Soon, under the horrified eyes of Kazuki Odin and Hayagoro, a mummy was casually thrown by Kaishu into the ruins, causing a cloud of dust. It's your turn Kaishu's green eyes looked extremely terrifying under the moonlight. Roar Kaishu charged at Kazuki Odin with wide open palms like a cannonball. Don't think about it Kazuki Odin gritted his teeth and endured the extreme pain on his body. Odin too sword style, samurai great spirit the figures of the two flashed past at breakneck speed, making the onlookers can't see anything but only catch an unusual sound. 
Puchi that was the sound of blood spurting accompanied by the sound of blood spurting out, there seemed to be something hitting the ground, followed by a slight, plop, sound. Borrowing the light from the moon, the samurais looked over suspiciously, but the scene that caught their eyes shocked them wildly it was Kazuki Odin with his chest ripped open, exposing the bones and viscera inside Odin, Sama. No that IT can't be. Odensama no how could this happen even Odensama. Seeing Kazuki Odin lying on the ground, seriously injured and dying, the samurai felt a burst of despair damn let go of Odin. At this time, seeing Kaishu grabbing Kazuki Odin, whose chest was bleeding profusely, Hayagoro became anxious and rushed over regardless of his injury. One sword style of the flower, flaming hair of holy rage this slash was a full strength blow by Hayagoro, in this attack, he disregarded defense and focused only on speed is that all you can do Kaishu grabs Kazuki Odin with one hand, then he clenches his other hand and entangles it with armament hockey and conqueror hockey. Mountain Crusher boomed the attack completely split the surrounding atmosphere, and a force of destruction spread out. The ground exploded under the impact, smoke and dust soared into the sky, and the terrifying power caused a huge circular crater to appear on the ground. Ah Hayagoro's sword couldn't touch Kaishu's fist at all. It only remained a few inches away from the fist, with black lightning flashing around. After a short statement, Hayagoro was trembling all over, and the corners of his mouth continued to overflow with blood. Finally, at a certain moment, the armament hockey on the sword was wiped out, and cracks appeared on the sword. Boom as the strength of the fist intensified, the sword in Hayagoro's hand broke, and then he was smashed into the ground. Puff Hayagoro was bleeding from seven orifices and he spit out blood with pieces of internal organs as he lay powerlessly on the ground. Oh you still want to resist. What a terrifying will suddenly, Kaishu's eyes shifted to Kazuki Odin, who was clearly dying at this moment but still wanted to swing his sword. Kaishu's two sharp protrudes as he bites Kazuki Odin's neck. No Odensama Odin. Go away Hayahohoho, that can't be done. Muhahahaha, if I let you pass, Captain will have to suck my blood too. No matter what Kinemon, Denjiro, and the other samurai do, they can't break through Chinjo and others' defense. Not to mention saving Kazuki Odin, they are in trouble, too. All of them were wounded and panting haggardly in the battle. In contrast, the members of the beast's pirates, except for the two brats who were injured, the others were almost intact. Queen in beast form didn't even have any damaged clothes. A slash N. Don't ask me why the clothes were still there when he changed from human form to beast form. His clothes are just temporarily hidden, like when Kaido transforms into a dragon in the manga. Gudong under the moonlight, Kaishu's pale green eyes become deeper and deeper as he sucks more blood. Damn it it's not that Kazuki Odin didn't resist, but he couldn't get rid of Kaishu's grasp at all. Gradually, his consciousness became increasingly blurred, and his vision gradually became dim while his body began to feel cold. Until. That Enma and Aim no Habakiri in his hands fell off weakly to the ground. Woo. Odensama under the disbelieving, tearful eyes of the surviving samurai, Kazuki Odin's body quickly withered and turned into a mummified corpse. Snapped in the end, it was thrown on the ground by Kaishu like garbage. The hope of the Kazuki family, the daimyo of Kuri, and the next shogun just lost his breath like that ya ha ha ha. It's almost there suddenly. Kaishu's excited laughter mixed with expectation sounded. Then his bloodthirsty eyes looked at Hayagoro, who couldn't even stand up. Roar no. Hayagoro's eyes showed despair as Kaishu grabbed him and bit his neck. Gudong his pale green eyes gradually turned emerald green. Elder brother's aura. At this time, only Kaido hovering in the sky can feel the change in Kaishu. It became stronger roar the moment Kaishu's eyes turned completely emerald green, he couldn't help roaring up to the sky the moonlight seemed to gather on him, looking gloomy, cold, and terrifying. Hayagoro and Kazuki Odin's corpses decayed quickly, and with Kaishu at the center, a wave of death energy quickly spread. Something is wrong Queen let out a strange cry, but an excited expression appeared on his face, you two little brats, quickly climb onto my body. The massive Brachiosaurus was always by King and Bullet's side. Otherwise, in such a war, even if the two little brats are not weak, they will not be able to withstand the siege of the samurais. Alright King and Bullet didn't try to be brave, either. At this moment, both of them had serious injuries, and their physical strength was somewhat exhausted. 
even if they don't have observation hockey, that invisible death energy still gives them a creepy feeling. Without the slightest hesitation, they quickly crawled onto Queen's body. Ah, what is that the corpses, the corpses all turned into bones how dot how could this be? Ah what's wrong what's wrong with you help? Help me. Cough what's this? Help. Wherever the death energy passes, the trees, flowers, and plants wither quickly. All the snakes, insects, rats, and ants died, while the corpses on the ground quickly rotted. The samurais only felt that their bodies became weak as their vitality rapidly disappeared. Their skin was aging rapidly as their life force seemed to be being swallowed mysteriously, and then they finally fell powerlessly to the ground. All their flesh and blood seemed to be stripped away at this moment, leaving only a dry bone, like dry wood, without a bit of luster on the ground. The surrounding area has completely turned into a dead area oh. We can't say completely either because people with armament hockey's defense or already strong physique are not afraid of this deadly plunder. Like the members of the beasts pirates and a dozen or so samurais, that's right, that a zero 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 samurai, except for the dozens around Kazuki Sukiyaki, there are less than samurai. The combat power of the entire Wano can be said to have been wiped out by percent to percent all things withered, leaving only deathly silence Kazuki Sukiyaki and Kurizumi Orochi also stopped at this time, and all the surviving samurai looked at Kaishu under the moonlight in panic. At this moment, he gave people a feeling of great terror and incomparable ominousness. The bones everywhere make this place like hell, which makes those who see it feel chill and frightened. Roar ya ha ha ha. Boom Kaishu clenched his fists while a maniacal smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Elder brother this is. Kaido, who had turned into a human form again, came to Kaishu's side and asked curiously. The development of my devil fruit has gone a step further, and my strength has improved a lot. Kaishu smiled and patted Kaido on the shoulder happily. So heavy. This is Kaido's shoulders dropped sharply, and he looked at Kaishu, who was smiling happily in surprise. Elder brother, your strength, is too strong ya ha ha ha, this is the new ability I awakened after developing my devil fruit. The ultimate power Kaishu couldn't contain the joy in his heart as he put his arms around his younger brother's shoulders while laughing loudly. That's right as Kaishu sucked a lot of blood these months, his devil fruit was developed little by little. To this day, after sucking Kazuki Odin and Hayagoro, he awakened a new ability. Ultimate power when Kaishu evolved his previous devil fruit to undead titan, in addition to his previous abilities, such as corpse poison, dead air, and blood control, Kaishu had no other skills. He only got the ultimate defense of undead titan with this defense, Kaishu, who has just stepped into the admiral level, can fight Roger for three days and three nights. Although he was defeated in the end. But don't forget that Roger was already at the peak of the admiral level. He also mastered the top-level armament hockey and conqueror hockey. Moreover, he also has an extremely terrifying swordsmanship level. However, there was nothing he could do against Kaishu. He can hurt Kaishu, but he can't kill him if Kaishu plays recklessly and relies on the resilience brought by his immortality talent. It will be Roger who will suffer in the end. It can be seen from this that Kaishu's defense and resilience are different of course, the so-called ultimate is not indestructible. Otherwise, Kaishu would not have a permanent scar. But in Kaishu's current stage, his defense has reached the ultimate. In the same way, Kaishu has now awakened the ultimate power of undead titan fruit and has reached the peak of a mid-level admiral. Yes, with the development of his devil fruit, Kaishu's strength in physical skills also improved, and it has entered the middle level. In other words, Kaishu's defensive power also increased accordingly. Now, if he fights Roger again, with ultimate power and ultimate defense, Kaishu can at least fight Roger equally. And it can even finally be achieved, exchanging injuries for life will ro 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 ro, elder brother, I really envy you. It's so easy to develop your devil fruit. Kaido couldn't help but smile enviously. His devil fruit has only improved a little bit so far, and his strength has not improved as much as it did at the beginning. However, Kaishu has already stepped into the middle level admiral level, and it can be said that the gap has further widened. You must know that strength is more difficult to improve as you go higher. Otherwise, there would not be so many people in the sea. After reaching the strength of the vice admiral, it would be difficult to make further progress, and they would not even be able to step into the admiral candidate for a lifetime. 
the admiral level is like a moat lying in front of all the geniuses. But there is no way, as long as Kaishu sucks blood, his devil fruit can develop by itself. Of course, this requires fresh blood from different powerhouses. Otherwise, just by constantly sucking Kaido's blood, he can awaken his devil fruit directly. Kaishu has already adapted to Kaido's blood, and no matter how much he ingests, it will only restore his physical strength, and it will not have much effect on devil fruit's development. This is why Kaishu chooses to suck these people dry instead of keeping them as blood bags. If I continue to develop this way, I should be able to awaken the ultimate speed. Kaishu smiles brightly while thinking secretly. Haya ho ho ho, my lord has become stronger. It seems that I can't slack off. Chinjo touched his all head with a gentle smile on his face, but he spoke with a serious eye. Queen, who was still in beast form, smoked a cigar while speaking enviously, Captain is really a monster. I'll keep up. Gion clenched the handle of her sword with a serious face. King's eyes filled with admiration, as expected of Captain I'll have to become stronger Bullet looked at his wounded body while gritting his teeth. Kaishu's progress not only makes the crew happy but also makes them feel more urgent to improve their own strength. They can't be far behind by their captain. Otherwise, they won't even be qualified to follow their captain. Take them all down Hayagoro and Kazuki Odin are both dead. Ueno's shogun and several other daimyo are here, along with Kurizumi Orochi and his samurai. Kaishu's goal of fighting to determine the final winner has basically been achieved, so naturally, he doesn't want to waste any more time. Haya ho ho ho, leave it all to me Chinjo, don't kill them all. I still want to experiment with my biological weapons. Queen, don't use your biological weapons. These people are still quite useful, so capture them all alive. Except for Kaishu and Kaido, the others rush forward to clean the battlefield. Damn it, it won't be so easy. Ah uh, before Kazuki Sukiyaki could finish his sentence, he was slapped to the ground by Chinjo. Bang ah uh, I did I surrender. No. The remaining samurai were not opponents at all, and it was almost a unilateral massacre. It's just that these people were lucky, and most of them were seriously injured. Only one samurai was accidentally trampled to death by Queen. Wait that wait a minute, we are here to cooperate with you. Do you think you're worthy of cooperating with us you are too presumptuous when Kurizumi Orochi saw the beast pirates, he wanted to form an alliance with them but was rejected by Gion instead. Orokizuma, be careful just when Gion's sword was about to slash Kurizumi Orochi, a transparent green barrier appeared in front of Kurizumi Orochi. Clang, Gion's eyes froze, her attack was actually blocked by the barrier, and it didn't seem to cause any damage. Then she saw Kurizumi Semimaru, with a crossed finger, appear beside Kurizumi Orochi indifferently. Gufufufu, if you can't break through this barrier, then you should form an alliance with me instead to take down Ueno. Seeing that Gion's attack had no effect on the barrier, Kurizumi Orochi laughed arrogantly again. Barrier a voice sounded from Gion's rear. Captain Sama the coldness on Gion's face disappeared immediately, and a gentle smile bloomed on her face. When Kaishu came over, the powerful aura that exuded from his body made Kurizumi Orochi feel unease. The arrogant smile on his face has completely disappeared, and cold sweat pours down his forehead. This. I just want to cooperate with you. Kurizumi Orochi looked fawningly at Kaishu while stammering as he spoke. But Kaishu didn't listen at all, and he just smiled slightly while speaking, just right, let's see if this barrier can block my current strength. What Kurizumi Orochi immediately turned pale due to panic, and even Kurizumi Semimaru, who had always been indifferent, couldn't help swallowing at this moment. Kaishu clenched his right fist and punched towards the barrier without using armament hockey. Boom kaka suddenly, there was a violent explosion and a terrifying shock wave that spread to the surroundings. The ground cracked, and fissures like spider webs appeared. The green transparent barrier cracked with a single pinch. Moreover, the cracks continued to spread each second. No, impossible this is an unbreakable barrier. How could it be? Kurizumi Orochi instantly turned pale with fright while looking at the cracks that continued to spread in disbelief. You know, in the manga, even Kazuki Odin, who came back from the sea, could not break Kurizumi Semimaru's barrier. At that time, Kazuki Odin was not weaker than Kaido. 
Of course, it is also possible that Kurazumi Semimaru's current Devil Fruit's ability development is not so strong. But with only a simple punch and without any help from hockey or technique, Kaishu broke through the barrier known as the unbreakable defense. One can imagine how powerful Kaishu is. Oh it's still not completely broken such a strong defense. Kaishu showed a surprised expression. The current force contained in his punch, even if Kaido uses armament hockey, he can't resist it. This shriveled looking old man actually blocked it with only his devil fruit ability. At this moment, blood oozed from the corner of Kurazumi Semimaru's mouth. He's obviously hurt again seeing Kurazumi Semimaru sweating profusely while using a lot of stamina to create a new barrier, Kaishu roared loudly. Boom Kaishu's right arm bulged with blue veins, and then, with a fierce look in his eyes, he punched hard without using any hockey or technique once again. More violent shock waves that can smash mountains and seas exploded, the ground shattered, and the sky trembled and wailed. Kurizumi Semimaru spat out a big mouthful of blood while his ears and nose also bleed. At this moment, his old face, which is covered with blood, looks extremely terrifying. After a moment of stalemate, there was only a sound of a bang, and the barrier broke boom the undiminished fist continued to hit down and blasted out a deep hole in the ground. As for Kurizumi Orochi and Kurizumi Semimaru, there is no trace of them. They were actually directly blasted into Slagya ha 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 Kaishu laughed with satisfaction. Meanwhile, the battle on the other side was over very quickly. With the fighting power of these surviving samurais, they were no match for Chinjo and Queen, and they all lost their fighting power in less than two minutes. Let's go and see our first territory with a wave of his hand, Kaishu led the excited crew member deeper into Ueno. The shogun and several daimyos went to fight against the invaders. Of course, the citizens of Ueno knew about such a big battle. Especially in such a terrifying battle, the dragon's roar and the loud explosion can be heard from afar. It made the civilians in Kuri and some nearby areas feel anxious all the time. At this moment, they secretly pray for the shogun's victory. There is no movement anymore, is the battle over did they win of course, they must have won Shigunsama personally led the army together with the other daimyos. Moreover, that's 000 samurai and ninjas. Any enemy will be wiped out in the face of it. That's right when the citizens found that the loud explosion from the distance had disappeared, they waited expectantly and anxiously. However, most civilians have full confidence in the Kazuki family, and some of them have even begun to prepare a banquet, ready to welcome the shogun's return. At this moment, several tall figures came out from the darkness. Ya ha 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 jie, what a big welcome ceremony. Kaishu brought Kaido and the others to meet the waiting citizens. At this moment, Queen was still holding the unconscious Kazuki Sukiyaki in his hand. That's, Shigunsama it Shigunsama these hateful invaders dare to kidnap the great shogun we cannot let them go damn pirate, put down Shigunsama when the civilians in Ueno saw Kaishu and other people, they were a little shocked. However, when they found Kazuki Sukiyaki in Queen's hand, they immediately cursed out of righteous indignation. They might attack in groups if it wasn't just for Kazuki Sukiyaki being in Queen's hands. This shows the status of the Kazuki family in the hearts of Ueno citizens. The samurai is here Kazuki Sukiyaki certainly didn't call out all the samurai from Ueno, and there were still a few remaining samurai to keep orders. Moreover, Ueno also had some wandering samurai from other families. A group of samurai came forward, and the citizens on both sides gave way one after another. Then, they walked up to Kaishu and the others while speaking in an arrogant manner, Outsiders, please release the shogun immediately. We can let you leave safely, otherwise. Yeah ha ha ha, what a bunch of naive guys Kaishu was not interested in hearing him continue at all, and he said domineeringly, I just came to inform you that from now on, this is the territory of beast pirates, and I will be your new shogun surrender or perish a mere outsider wants us to surrender stop kidding, that's never gonna happen Chinjo. Queen, the matter here is handed to you. I don't want to hear any voice of opposition when the sun rises tomorrow Kaishu smiled coldly. Leave it to us, Captain Hayahohoho, I can handle it alone, my lord the next day, the strong smell of blood lingered in the air. On this day, Ueno also appointed Kaishu as their new shogun. At the flower capital, in the shogun's mansion. Captain, the entire Ueno has been cleaned, and there is basically no voice of resistance. Now, this place is completely under our control our territory good job, but that's not all. 
there are still some rats in this country. Let's solve it as soon as possible during this time. Clear Kaishu sat on the shogun's seat while the most beautiful Oiren in the flower capital carefully poured wine for him. Wano has basically been conquered. However, there are still some wandering samurais and yakuza who want to rebel against the beast's pirates. But it's harmless, those little rats can't create a big wave at all. Moreover, he still has some prisoners in his hand that can be used. Send everyone from the Kazuki family to the execution ground tomorrow and execute them all. Remember to notify everyone in the flower city to watch Kaishu looks at the tied Kazuki Sukiyaki and other samurais in the hall center while speaking. And there are some collateral blood relatives of the Kazuki family in the shogun's mansion. Tomorrow morning, in front of every citizen in Ueno, execute them all with a cigar in his mouth, Queen hugged a trembling Oiren who had a forced smile on her while speaking, leave it to me. Captain this kind of event full of atmosphere is what I love the most okay, then I'll leave it to you, Kaishu said casually. This. Hearing Kaishu's words that decided the fate of the entire Kazuki family, the faces of a dozen tied samurai were full of panic are all pirates this ruthless are they just going to kill them all the behavior of the beast's pirates is truly terrifying, it makes their scalps tingle. Bastard why are you going to execute Skiakusama you have already won, Wayno is already yours why do you want to kill everyone and don't give us any way to survive why you can just kill me. The others are all innocent the captured samurai and Kazuki Sukiyaki gritted their teeth angrily while questioning Kaishu. Why are you really all naive idiots this is the rule of the sea. It's the survival of the fittest. The weak. Don't even have the right to decide their life and death. Kaido's tone was very indifferent, and you couldn't hear any emotional fluctuations. Even Gion's face is like a calm lake, she doesn't even think there is anything wrong with what Kaido said. Although it is very cruel, it is the law of survival in the sea the present era is not the era of pirates playing house like in Luffy's time. Congratulations, you have occupied Wano. The influence level has increased ding the auxiliary store is open. At this time, Kaishu also heard a system notification. Open my panel name, Barbarossa Kaishurace, Oni Identity, Captain of Beasts Pirates Talent, Reinforced and Iron Bones, Ghost Body, Immortal Body, Immortality Devil Fruit, Superhuman Human Fruit, Model, Undead Titan, Plus, Hockey, Conqueror Hockey, Advanced, Armament Hockey, Peak, Observation Hockey, Peak, Dot Captain's Exclusive Ability, True Sight. Commander Influence Level, Evolution Source, Six Evolution Sources were obtained after recruiting Chinjo and Queen. After helping them evolve their Devil Fruit, plus the remaining point before, there are now points. Ancient Zoan to Mythical Zoan cost evolution sources. The observation hockey has been promoted to the peak level, and Kaishu can foresee the future for a short time. Although Conqueror hockey has not improved, he has learned the advanced application of it. A slash N, armament hockey's hardening, imbuement, emission, and internal destruction are just skills, not armament hockey level. In the end, the influence level was raised to level. System, open the auxiliary store. A light that only Kaishu could see flashed, and a simple shopping mall panel similar to an online game appeared in front of him. The most important thing is that there are only two types of items in the auxiliary store that's right, there are only two kinds of items for level influence. The first is the gravity bracelet that Kaishu is very familiar with, it is worth million belly for a pair. Another kind of item is a bottle called stamina potion worth million belly each stamina potion, a one-time auxiliary item that can restore percent of stamina without any side effects, regardless of who uses it, the effect remains the same. Friendly reminder, you can take up to potions per day. Kaishu's eyes lit up when he saw the stamina potion and the gravity bracelet. Although Kaishu's strongest assistant system cannot directly improve his strength, judging from these two auxiliary items, it is still very useful. Whenever you train, particularly when you focus on bodybuilding, it consumes the most energy. They often need to spend a lot of time eating and resting to restore their physical strength. The gravity bracelet is a tool to improve the body's overall strength, while the stamina potion helps them to recover instantly. With 5 stamina potions per day, they will have twice as much training time as others. You know, if you are physically exhausted, it doesn't mean you can recover instantly to full energy after eating Sea King's meat and resting. Your body also needs to slowly process it. But the stamina potion can instantly let you recover to full energy without any side effects. And it's not just about training. 
the stamina potion can even reverse the situation of a battle. Kaishu immediately bought pairs of gravity bracelets and stamina potions. As for Belly, the system will automatically deduct it from the wealth earned by Kaishu. Okay, everyone, leave with Kaishu's signal, the Oiran and the group of bound samurais were all taken out by members of the beast's pirates. Captain, what are you doing Queen, who was flirting with the Oiran just now, was unhappy. I got some goods for you. Kaishu didn't even look at the fat man beside him while speaking calmly. Under the curious gazes of several people, Kaishu took out the gravity bracelet and stamina potion. Elder brother, do you still have an extra gravity bracelet Kaido said in surprise. He didn't know what the bottle was, but he recognized the gravity bracelet at a glance. This thing is handy for training the physique. Not to mention, Kaido, Gion, and the others looked at the gravity bracelet with fiery eyes. Their loyalty is percent, so how could Kaishu hide the gravity bracelet from them the two little brats always begged Kaishu and Kaido for it. You all know what this bracelet is, so I won't say more, one pair for each person. Thank you, Captain as soon as Kaishu finished speaking, Bullet couldn't wait to run forward and took a pair happily. In addition, Kaishu picked up the bottle and introduced it to them, this thing is called the stamina potion as the name suggests, it can instantly restore percent of your stamina without any side effects. However, you can only use up to potions a day. When Kaishu said this, everyone, including Kaido, was shocked captain, is what you said true it can instantly restore our stamina, and there are no side effects that's right my god, how is this thing created captain, you must give it to me for research. As a scientist, Queen is full of curiosity about the stamina potion and the gravity bracelet. Researching it is fine, but don't eat the experimental products you made yourself. I know, don't worry, Captain Queen looked like a hungry dog as he stared at the stamina potion on the table with burning eyes. Five per person, take it thank you, Captain Long live, Captain Ya ha ha ha. Kaishu is also happy to see the excited crew. With these two auxiliary items, beasts pirates can develop more rapidly. To take the simplest example, King and Bullet can grow up at the fastest speed. What does a genius need before becoming a strong man its resources it's always the same sentence, no matter what world you are in, there's always poor and rich. It's an invariable law. In the world of one piece, the so-called resources can be nutritious food, medical treatment, training methods, exercise equipment, sea stone, teachers, and so on. In the fantasy world, the resources may be exercises, weapons, treasures of heaven and earth, spirit stones, and the like. Why can the world government rule the world for years it is because they have countless resources, and they can create batches of strong men. You are listening to this audiobook on web novel audiobooks Tkthigud. Why does the world government affiliated country pay heavenly tribute every year is it really just for the celestial dragons to have fun no this is actually a way for the world government to control the world by integrating resources from all over the world now, beasts pirates also have the resources to develop quickly. When the night falls. The shogun's mansion in the flower capital is full of laughter. However, elsewhere, gloom looms. In the civilian area of the flower capital, no one would have imagined that this would be the headquarters of the largest yakuza in the flower capital. Now that Hayagoro is dead, the underworld organizations in the capital are taken over by the second in command, Omesa. After the massacre of the beast's pirates last night, many wandering samurais from Ueno who rebelled against the beast's pirates were accepted here. In the underworld gambling den at the depths of a dark alley, dozens of samurai gathered, including Yakuza from several other areas of Ueno. At this moment, everyone had grimaces on their faces. Boss Omesa, many of our brothers were killed by those bastards from beasts pirates that's right, our territory in Udon was also cleaned up. The cadres of the beasts pirates are all monsters. The samurais are not their opponents at all. What's even more exaggerated is that there are still damned civilians who lead them the way for money. Several bigwigs from the Yakuza cursed out of righteous indignation. Although they are Yakuza, they are basically supporters of the Kazuki family. These wandering samurai are especially respectful to the shogun Kazuki Sukiyaki. There are also a small number of samurais from various villages, including some ninjas. These people were chased by the beast's pirates, who came to this group to keep warm tomorrow, the beast pirates will publicly execute the shogun and annihilate the Kazuki family. We must not let them succeed that's right, I only accept the new shogun if he is from the Kazuki family. 
If beasts pirates want to replace it, keep dreaming the spirit of the samurai will never yield although we are Yakuza, we are also citizens who are loyal to the shogun right ha everyone, keep quiet. Omesa sat on the head of the table while smoking a cigarette, and with every puff, his expression became gloomier and angrier. There is no way to stop the execution beasts pirates made it clear that they wanted to cut weeds and eliminate the roots. Apart from robbing the prison, Omesa couldn't think of any other way but to rescue them tomorrow. They might be playing in the enemy's hand. The purpose of this public execution is most likely to lure them to take action and then catch them all after a long time, Omesa raised his head and spoke in an extremely hoarse voice. Everyone, are you ready to die? Several region's bosses looked at each other with determination all samurai also straightened their backs, and then they placed their swords in front of their knees while bowing their heads firmly, we bow our allegiance to the shogun okay, even if we die tomorrow. We must rescue the shogun as long as the shogun is alive, one day, the Kazuki family will recover the Wano and restore their rule Omesa raised the wine glass on the table and drank it down everyone also drank the wine one after another. The next day, the streets of Flower Capital were crowded with people, and like ants, they gathered towards the execution ground. Damn it, those pirates are going to execute the shogun Shu, are you tired of living the current shogun is the captain of the beasts pirate snort hurry up, we won't be able to squeeze in if we're late I heard that more than 200 people will be executed today. In addition to the shogun and the collateral blood of the Kazuki family, there are also many loyal samurai. Some watched excitedly, some wept sadly, some looked on coldly, and some took up their weapon. This public execution made the whole country restless, and everyone wanted to know how it would end. At the execution ground, more than Kazuki family collateral relatives and samurai headed by Kazuki Sukiyaki were wearing prison uniforms and kneeling on the ground. There is a short sword for seppuku in front of everyone, while the executioner has a long sword behind them. The execution ground is surrounded by guardrails, guarded by a samurai every one meter, and outside the guardrails are the densely packed residents of the flower capital. There are so many people that you can't see the end at a glance. That's right, since there are samurai who are loyal to the Kazuki family, there are also samurai who defect to the enemy for benefit. Although it was only two days, many samurai surrendered to the rule of the beast's pirates. Surrender or perish of course, there will be some people who want to live not long after, under the escort of the crew members of the beast's pirates, Queen was carried to the execution ground. Dun dun tilde operator dun dun tilde operator dun dun tilde operator the dynamic music sounded, and Queen walked briskly with his short legs, followed by his two little underlings as they walked to the center of the execution platform. Oh Queen Queensima! The beast's pirates crew members and some civilians shouted Queen's name loudly. However, most of the civilians remained silent while looking at Kazuki Sukiyaki on the execution platform with sad faces. Zoom, 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 zoom. If I get thinner, I'll be too popular. So, I don't get thinner that's my kind of. Funk I may look chubby, but it's all muscle. I can sing and dance that's my kind of. Funk Queen and his two younger brothers danced a dynamic dance. With the hard work of Beast's Pirates members and some civilians, the atmosphere is very lively this time, only Queen came with Bullet and King for the execution. Bullet, who was standing behind the execution platform, looked at Queen, who was still dancing while covering his face with embarrassment, next time, I will never come with him again. Is that guy? An idiot King crossed his arms and looked at Queen's chubby body with disgust. If it weren't for the two of them not being Queen's opponents, they really wanted to go up and drag that guy down. The wonderful funk dance is over. Now, the most exciting event begins. When the music stopped, Queen took the main seat, and someone immediately brought a wine to him. It's almost time, let's start the execution yes, Queen Sima Queen took a sip of wine while waving his hands towards his subordinates to ring the gong immediately. Everyone fell silent as they waited for the next scenes. From now on, Wano will become even better under the leadership of the new shogun and the Kazuki family, who are sinners, will disappear from now on. Congratulations to Kaishuzuma for becoming the shogun of Wano A Samurai held the document and read the harm caused by the Kazuki family by closing the borders. Then, the samurai stated that with the beast's pirate's arrival, Wano would have no invaders in the future. Under the new shogun rules, it shall bring peace in short, it is a set of rhetoric that Queen got from somewhere. 
start the execution after the voice fell, all the executioners pulled out their swords and got ready the prisoners' faces were pale, and they picked up the knife in front of them while trembling. Doing seppuku will not make them die immediately, but will make them suffer a painful death. And if someone resists, the executioner can give them a ride in advance. Before fighting for the Kazuki family, most of the samurai were prepared to die. But when this moment really came, the only thing that filled many people's hearts was regret. The hand holding the knife is shaking some people regret it, while some people define it generously a small number of samurai closed their eyes and accepted death calmly. It is the last honor of a samurai to die by seppuku after defeat Shigunsama, Wu. Many civilians looked at Kazuki Sukiyaki and burst into tears of grief. But they were powerless to resist. In front of them was a row of samurais who had already drawn their swords. How can unarmed civilians have the strength to fight against these samurais I'm the shame of the Kazuki family and Ueno. Letting me die with honor is the enemy's greatest mercy. When Kazuki Sukiyaki thinks of Hayagoro, many samurai, and his son, Kazuki Odin's death, his mood becomes miserable and gloomy. Execute. Kill rescued the shogun the time has come to repay the Kazuki family's kindness. Everyone rescued the shogun with me Skiyakusama, here we come Skiyakusama, we will definitely rescue you. Kill kill these samurais who betrayed Ueno, kill the beasts pirates everyone follow me just when Omesa gave the order, one after another, the samurai suddenly came out from the crowd. They uniformly placed the Kazuki family crest on their clothes as chest area and bravely charged to the execution platform. The first to bear the brunt are the samurai who defect to the beast's pirates. Before they had time to react, they were chopped down to the ground by the samurai headed by Omesa. But soon, the samurais from the beast's pirates launched a counterattack. The two sides immediately launched a life and death battle the samurais from the beast's pirates knew that now that they had abandoned the shogun and joined the beast's pirates, there was no way out. At this time, naturally, these samurai will not let these people save Kazuki Sukiyaki. Mu ha 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 ha, someone really came to die. With the cigar in his mouth, Queen stepped down from the main seat step by step. Go away just leave. Kazuki Sukiyaki cried loudly, tears streaming down his face, but the samurai were determined to rescue him. What a touching loyalty. Queen wiped away the non-existent tears at the corners of his eyes with a handkerchief and said emotionally, to fulfill your benevolence and righteousness I will send you all to reunite with Kazuki's family Queen's chubby face had become extremely ferocious when his last word fell. He took out a gatling gun from behind and fired at the samurais rushing in front of the execution platform. Da 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 ah Queensama. It's us. My lord. Don't. Queen completely disregarded the life and death of his own subordinates as he attacked completely indiscriminately. Amidst the samurai's screams, blood sprayed out everywhere. One after another, the samurais fell into a pool of blood. No woo. Kazuki Sukiyaki covered his face and wept in grief, but there was nothing he could do. All the sinners who tried to resist were killed by the executioner behind them. As for Kazuki Sukiyaki, he received special treatment. Instead of being killed directly, he was pressed to the ground by two pirates. There was nothing he could do except cry and yell as he watched the scenes. Ah the next moment, the dreaded plague virus began to infect. In front of the execution platform, there was a wail of mourning. Damn, we come here for nothing. Seeing a large group of samurais infected with the virus, Bullet and King stopped walking forward. Although Queen has an antidote, they don't want to be infected with that disgusting virus. They could only stand there in frustration and watch Queen perform. Mu ha 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 ha, I am the smartest scientist in the world Queen looked at the hundreds of samurais and civilians who were infected in just a short period of time and smiled triumphantly. Stop looking down on people damn it at this time, a figure rushed out, and the sword in his hand slashed straight at Queen's throat. It is the boss of this operation, Omesa, who's also a powerful swordsman. But. Boom Queen grabbed the sword with his pitch black hand without causing any harm. Let me go. I'll let you be the first to experience my latest masterpiece. Queen looked at Omesa, who was constantly struggling with his hands while showing a sinister smile. Then he pulled a musket from his waist. Boom Omesa was shot in the chest and let out a pained grunt. Queen casually threw Omesa into the battlefield below and looked at it expectantly. 
Even King and Bullet were a little curious, what new tricks did Queen come up with? Ah Omesa twitched all over, his face distorted, and he rolled on the ground in pain. Then, his body became scrawny, with bulging veins all over his body, making him look extremely terrifying. Omesa, you. What's the matter with you? A region's boss repelled a samurai and asked with concern. Roar Omesa let out a roar that was not like a human being but like a beast. At this moment, his eyes were completely black. He quickly grabbed the region's boss in front of him and bit down with his canine teeth. Ah, uh, after biting off a large piece of flesh and blood, Omesa directly swallowed it whole. Go away the region's boss kicked Osama away while looking at his bleeding arm with a painful expression. Roar ah. Uh. Omesa seemed to have completely lost his mind. After being kicked away, he quickly ran up and grabbed the nearest samurai, then bit him like a wild beast. Ah uh, boss Omesa, I am. Crazy, they all have gone crazy brother, ah. It didn't take long for the region's boss to become a bloodthirsty monster like Omesa. Then he bites and devours the flesh of those people around him indiscriminately once bitten by them, if you don't die immediately, you will become this kind of monster in a short time. Ah uh, the place under the execution platform instantly became an extremely chaotic, bloody, brutal, and disgusting place. Even King, Bullet, and all the other crew members of the Beast Pirates turned pale. Only Queen admired his masterpiece with great interest. Ah, but not long after, Omesa, whose patient zero, began to fester all over his body, and within a few minutes, he turned into a puddle of blood without even leaving bones. Ah. Afterward, there were more screams, and the infected samurais all turned into pools of blood amidst the terribly painful sounds. This is. Everyone looked at this tragic scene in horror, and the eyes they looked at Queen were full of fear. Queen frowned slightly while muttering something. Captain's corpse poison is too potent. Even if I dilute it a lot and incorporate it with the plague virus, the death rate is still too fast. And the speed of transmission is not fast. It needs to be further improved. The latest virus developed by Queen was researched based on Kaishu's corpse poison. Continue the execution after the farce was over, Queen waved his hand and said indifferently. A group of Yakuza and wandering samurais, what impact can they have to put it bluntly, the so-called wandering samurais are a group of guys who are not strong enough to be recruited by the major families. If they were really capable, they would have been accepted as a retainer by the Kazuki family long ago. After eliminating this group of little rats who are good at hiding, Ueno no longer has the strength to resist Kaishu's rule. Yes. When the samurais heard what Queen said, they nodded while trembling in fear. I'm sorry everyone I'm sorry, Ueno Kazuki Sukiyaki looked at the purgatory on earth scenes below, then he picked up the knife in grief and stabbed it into his abdomen. Then he makes one cut each way before finally doing it up and down. Kazuki Sukiyaki face distorts in pain, and he gradually loses his vitality. Shogun he's. Skiyakusama, Wu. Shigunsama, I will always follow you all one after another, scream sounded, and the strong smell of blood spread further into the area. With the death of Kazuki Sukiyaki, one samurai after another chose to commit seppuku. As for those Kazuki family collateral blood who still wanted to escape, they were mercilessly beheaded to death. In less than a minute, the entire execution platform was stained red with blood, and the pungent smell was disgusting. Ho 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 ho. In addition to the execution of the Kazuki family, the new shogun issued a new order. Queen said loudly to the people hiding in the distance, from today onwards, except for members of the beast's pirates, anyone in Ueno is forbidden to carry weapons when traveling, and it is forbidden to hide weapons at home. All existing weapons must be handed and violators shall be punished with death everyone in Ueno was stunned when they heard the decree announced by Queen as a country that prides itself on being a samurai and respects swordsmanship, they actually want to implement. A sword ban the sword is the samurai's soul and the samurai's most important partner. A samurai without a sword is just a joke. And this is just the beginning. Because it is impossible for the samurais to let go of the sword in their hands easily, which means they chose to surrender the process of implementing the ban on swords will inevitably be filled with blood Kaishu is going to break Ueno's will completely he's not giving this country that has been closed to the outside world and has the idea of foolish loyalty a chance for a comeback. Of course, if you still want to be a samurai and still have your sword. Just join the beast's pirates now, 
hand over all the weapons on your body Queen exuded a cold, murderous aura all over his body while speaking in a bone-piercing tone, otherwise. I will let you taste the power of my scientific achievements the civilians of Wayno couldn't help but look at the battlefield and see the foul-smelling puddles of blood. Gudom they all tremble in fear while swallowing their saliva. No one wants to become that kind of disgusting monster and die painfully in the end. The big deal is not being a samurai. The civilians who carry weapons handed over their weapons obediently every day. From this moment on, the samurai's will is broken a few days later, at the Beast's Pirates base camp, on Agashima. Go down a little more, and you, Bullet, raise your hand a little more King, support me while you can't even bear the weight of half a ton are you a waste queen, your physical strength is stronger than others. With a mere two tons of weight, just grit your teeth and hold on Chinjo, why are you laughing Gion works harder than you, and her strength will soon catch up with you, you idiot Kaishu held a long wooden stick and looked at the guys in front of him with a majestic expression. Under normal circumstances, with a load of half a ton or two tons, king and queen would naturally have no problem carrying it. But what about under five or ten times the gravity queen only felt that he was carrying a mountain on his back and he might be crushed at any time. The sweat under their feet has merged into a stream. But none of them dared to be lazy because when Queen wanted to drink wine just because he felt thirsty. Kaishu directly gave him an additional workout warm up by running 000 meters with a load. Core workout with tons of weight standing still and being used as a punching bag by Kaido to practice his armament hockey dodging the Kaishu attack while being blindfolded to train his observation hockey put on the sea stone bracelet while doing a leapfrog with weight Queen felt that he had lost a lot of weight in the past few days another week passed. Under the aggressive move of the beast's pirates, six areas of Wayno were cleaned inside and out. Almost all weapons have been confiscated by the beast's pirates in addition to making farm tools and kitchen knives, the blacksmith shop can only make weapons for members of beasts in the future. After this week, beast's pirates can also be said to have gained a lot. The income alone exceeded tens of billions belly you must know that this is the accumulation of the Kazuki family for many years, plus the treasures of several other daimyos. These are all just treasures found in the treasury, not counting the fixed properties of those families. Plus, the famous sword Kazuki Odin's Enma and Aim no Habakiri, as well as the enshrined national treasure of Ueno, Shusue, and Curse Sword, Nidai Kitetsu in addition, there are several kinds of extremely sharp swords. There are countless good weapons in Ueno because the best swordsmiths are here. However, currently, there are no other swordsmen in Beasts Pirates besides Gion. These famous swords can only be used as a collection in Beasts Pirates for the time being. Oh no King is very interested in swords and has shown good talent in swordsmanship. Now, he spends time practicing swords every day, and when he becomes a swordsman, Kaishu promises King that he can choose a famous sword he likes. Finally, the Beasts Pirates found a devil fruit in the Kazuki clan in Daimyo's treasure house. And it's all Zoan fruit they are, Dragon Dragon Fruit, Model. Spinosaurus Dragon Dragon Fruit, Triceratops Model Spider Spider Fruit, Rosa Miguel Gravo Jelly Model That's right, all three devil fruits are eaten by the three Tobarapo. Kaido probably got it after occupying Ueno in the manga. That night, the beasts pirates had their long lost banquet. Ahaha, drink cheers congratulations on occupying Ueno it's amazing here with this base camp, we don't have to worry about sneak attacks by people without eyes anymore cheers, brothers the atmosphere of the banquet was lively, and everyone vented their joy after victory with a base like Ueno, which is hard to reach. Their safety has been basically guaranteed moreover, Ueno's rich in sea stone. The beasts pirates can be regarded as occupying an inexhaustible gold mine and have gained a firm foothold in the world little ones, raise your glasses. We have gained a lot this time. Each of you can get million belly enjoy yourself oh thank you, captain excellent, thank you, captain everyone toast to captain. Cheers when Kaishu raised his wine glass, everyone raised the wine glass together and drank it down happily the banquet was held for seven days and seven nights, and it was not over until all the beast pirates had enjoyed themselves. Kaishuzuma, why do you look a little unhappy is there something on your mind after Gion finished training, she looked at Kishi curiously. They finally managed to take over Ueno, so he should be happy now, but why is he unhappy instead seeing that it was Gion, Kaishu said, I found that there are too few people on our ship. Ueno has a lot of areas that can be developed, but most of it requires intensive physical work. 
the Seastone factory alone requires at least thousands of people to maximize the resources. It seems that we have to find a way to expand the scale of Beast's pirates. We need to recruit more soldiers and some crew members. Elder brother, you are right, I have the same idea. Kaido ran out of nowhere at this time. The manpower of Beast's pirates is indeed too small. After all, it is still a newly established pirate group. Except for the 30 or so logistics crew members selected by Kaishu and Kaido when they first went to sea and the additional plus samurai that had just joined them. The Beast's Pirates currently has a total crew of less than. For the Beast's Pirates, who have already occupied Wano, people are too few. As Kaishu said, at least, 000 people are needed for the Seastone Factory. Moreover, the area of Wano is very large, and there are still many resources to be developed in other areas besides Udon. People are far from enough, it's time for the Beast Pirates to form a big crew. Elder brother, I'll go to the black market now and ask them to release the recruitment information of the Beast's Pirates. Kaido picked up the Den Den Mushi and was ready to dial the underworld black market number. In addition to the sale of weapons, intelligence, sea charts, devil fruit, and slaves, the underworld black market also sells news. As long as you pay a certain amount, they can also help you spread the news. At the marine headquarters, in the marshal's office, Kong slowly put down the Den Den Mushi in his hand. His brows were tightly wrinkled as if he was thinking about the information he had just got. H.A.A. Kong suddenly let out a long sigh and rubbed his brows with a headache. Sure enough, the remnants of the rock's pirate are a bunch of restless guys. Whitebeard and Golden Lion are already troublesome enough in the New World, especially Golden Lion, who has the ambition to conquer the world. Charlotte Lin Lin, that crazy woman, hasn't made any noise recently, but according to the report of the CP0 agent who was placed in the Big Mom pirate group, Lin Lin seems to want to occupy the Tato Land Sea area. Now, that brat, Kai Shu, finally showed his fangs, too. They captured the Wano, who had been reluctant to join the world government as an affiliate country. Now, they are recruiting with great fanfare, and their strong ambitions are undoubtedly exposed. The most important thing is. The battle between Beast Pirates and Roger Pirates was at war a few days ago Roger's strength is probably about the same as Garp's but this brat was able to fight Roger for three days and three nights before finally retreating. How could his strength improve so quickly Kong fell into a deep thought. A few months ago, Kaishu could not even defeat Zephyr and was even suppressed by him during the battle how long has it been since then not only was he able to escape from Garp, but he even fought Roger for three days escaping from Garp can be said to be a lack of intelligence, not knowing that he is already a devil fruit user. Coupled with Kaido's devil fruit ability, makes it possible for them to escape. But fighting Roger for three days and three nights, this can't be attributed to lack of information or accident that young kid has already stepped into the level of an admiral. Moreover, it is still a powerful admiral thinking of this, Kong no longer hesitated. He quickly summoned some admiral and vice-admiral for a meeting about Kaishu and the beast pirates. At the same time, he had to make some changes to their bounty. Sabaidi Archipelago Have you heard the news the beast's pirates are recruiting crew members this has long been spread in the new world. I also heard that if you are strong enough, you can even become a cadre directly. Really I really want to join them the captain and the vice captain of beasts pirates are two big pirates with a bounty of more than one billion and they are still so young they will definitely become the overlord of the sea in the future yeah. I really want to be a part of the beasts pirates stop dreaming, with your strength, who will want you what do you mean I have a bounty of three million belly. Ha 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 damn it, why are you laughing so hard the beasts pirates in turn crew, Douglas Bullet, has a bounty of million belly three million ha ha ha. Humph. I will definitely be a crew member of the Beast Pirates just wait and see that is if you can reach, Frosco Island, safely. Don't die as soon as you enter the new world. One month later, I must succeed in the crew selection on Frosco Island ooh, off to sea, to be part of the Beast's Pirates. Little ones, follow Master Kaishu with me I'm a Zoan fruit user, Beast's Pirates recruits all Zoan fruit users let's go to the Frosco Island in the new world the selection of the Beast's Pirates crew has caused quite a stir in the entire new world and many pirates are just about to move. Even the last stop of the paradise, Sabaidi Archipelago, has many pirates, pirate hunters, and gangsters who want to join this powerful pirate group. There is even news that the two Barbarossa brothers are extremely fond of Zoan devil fruit users. 
They want to create a pirate group full of Zoan fruit users. Moreover, Beast's Pirates also announced that they are willing to buy any Zoan devil fruit at a price three times higher than the market price for a while, it attracted the attention of many Zoan fruit users. Many pirates have gone to the New World's Frosco Island. After all, in the sea, most mediocre pirates' consensus is to attach themselves to the strong. New World, aboard the Moby Dick. Goo la 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 that brat is finally going to show his ambition to the world at this moment, Whitebeard, who's in his prime, reveals endless hockey in every move. Just sitting there gives people a feeling of looking up at the mountains. Pops, was Kaishu once on the same boat as you a brat with blonde pineapple hair sat on the railing while looking at Whitebeard curiously? Marco, as an intern crew, you should clean up the deck first. Rikuyo, who has messy brown hair and a mustache, is sitting on a wine barrel while speaking jokingly. Marco raised his hand and said with a smile, I'll do it later, senior don't bully Marco, Rikuyo. Whitey Bay, who has light blue hair, thick lips, and cool clothes, defended with a smile. Marco immediately gave Rikuyo a smug look, and the latter angrily gritted his teeth. Seeing the two staring at each other, Whitey Bay smiled slightly. Then she took out several bounty orders and said, Father, this is the latest bounty for the beast's pirates. Hearing what Whitey Bay said, Rikuyo and Marco, who were fighting, stopped immediately and looked over at the same time. Not just them, almost everyone looked at the thing in Whitey Bay's hands. Even Whitebeard is no exception, he receives the stack of papers and looks at them one by one. Beast Barbarossa Kaishu, Captain Beast's Pirates, age, years old, bounty. Billion Belly, wanted dead or alive as expected of you, Kaishu, Gula la 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 Whitebeard saw Kaishu's nearly billion bounty, and then he grinned with full fighting spirit. Azure Dragon Barbarossa Kaido, Beast's Pirates Deputy Captain, age, years old, bounty. Billion Belly, wanted dead or alive Chinjo the Drill Chinjo, member of the Beast's Pirates, age, years old, bounty, Million Belly, wanted dead or alive Sakura Flower Swords Woman Gion, member of the Beast's Pirates, age, years old, bounty, Million Belly, wanted dead or alive Madman Douglas Bullock, Beast's Pirates in turn crew, age, years old, bounty. Million Belly, wanted dead or alive Ember Wings King, Beast's Pirates in turn crew, age, years old, bounty, Million Belly, wanted dead or alive doubled the bounty for catching alive except for King's bounty, the bounties of Beast's Pirates have all increased a lot. The bounty for that Kaishu is only Million Belly less than Pops Marco said in surprise. In the past few months, of course, not only has the bounty of Beast's Pirates increased, but the bounty for Roger, Whitebeard, Golden Lion, and Charlotte Lin Lin has increased a lot. Moreover, the bounty for Roger, Whitebeard, and Golden Lion all exceeded. Billion. Gudong Whitebeard took a few sips of his drink and laughed, there's nothing surprising about this stupid son that brat, Kaishu, is extremely talented but it's still too early for him to surpass me oh that's right, Pops is the strongest Pops will definitely become the pirate king Amir Kaishu is no match for Pops at Queen Mama Chanter. OM the terrifying conqueror hockey spread out, the area became silent, the sea no longer had waves, and many homies on board were all unconscious. Mama. Perispero, the eldest son, was sweating profusely at this moment while looking at Big Mom with fear on his face. Since he brought the latest bounty for the beast pirates. Big Mom, who was enjoying dessert, suddenly had a change in her expression, and her murderous conqueror hockey overflowed Ma 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 Ma. After a while, Big Mom retracts her conqueror hockey under the fearful eyes of a dozen children. That brat, his bounty is even higher than mine Big Mom swallowed a piece of cream cake fiercely while cursing out unhappily. How why are you so far away shouldn't the family sit together while eating Big Mom's cold gaze suddenly shifted to the group of trembling children. Ah a few young people who were swept over by Big Mom's indifferent eyes couldn't help but scream out. Mama is right. The whole family should sit together. At this time, Katakuri, who was only, stood in front of his younger siblings and changed the subject, and we're about to reach the Tadoland Sea area. As long as we conquer that area, Mama's bounty will definitely increase Ma 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 Ma, you are right new world, somewhere in the sea. A pirate ship that seems to have experienced countless battles, with various sword marks on the deck and railings, is anchored in the shallow waters. In the somewhat dim captain's room, a tall figure sat there. Crick in the silent room, there is only the sound of the man squeezing the iron ball in his hand. 
Every squeeze adds a bit of oppression to the surroundings. After a while, his indifferent voice sounded. Beast's Pirates is recruiting crew on Flosco Island in a month ah. That's right he really is a brat who doesn't know the height of the heavens or the depth of the earth. Who does he think he is but Captain, I heard that Kaishu the Beasts can fight Roger for three days and three nights. Um the tall figure stopped turning, squeezing the ball, and then his bloodshot eyes drooped while he spoke coldly, so what no, nothing. The voices of the crew below were trembling, and he didn't dare to say a word. Go to Farasco Island since that brat gathered all those useless pirates together, it just happens I'm able to solve them all at once yes the ship anchored in the shallow waters immediately started to sail toward the Farasco Island. At Onigashima in Ueno. Ah. Bang outside the newly built palace, after Kaishu finished training, he enjoyed the coffee made by Gion herself while listening to the miserable screams outside from time to time Kaishuzuma, are you really not worried about it Kaidasuma doesn't seem to be able to train people. Gion gently wiped Kaishu's sweat and massaged his shoulder while looking outside worriedly from time to time. It's okay, Kaido has a sense of proportion as long as he doesn't kill or maim people, let him do what he wants Kaishu took a sip of coffee without hesitation, then he closed his eyes comfortably, leaned back. And enjoyed Gion massaging his forehead. Gion was speechless for a moment. Kaidasama suddenly became interested in training Bullet and the others. This is not like him at all Gion said curiously. Hey, maybe he's been beaten by Captain all the time, and he felt uncomfortable, so he wants to find some punching bags Queen suddenly appeared on the recliner beside him while smoking a cigar and speaking with a see-through expression. But you can tell from his bruised nose and swollen face. He is also one of the punching bags. Queen, didn't you go to a barbecue shop with Simon why did you come back suddenly Gion was taken aback by Queen's arrival and complained that this was her quiet time alone with Kaishu. What a third wheel they went to gamble. I have no interest in that. Queen said casually. Then he took sunglasses out of nowhere, put them on, and lay down comfortably it's just that he didn't notice Gion's murderous eyes. Being a punching bag is also a good way to train. If you don't want to be beaten, you must run faster and be more resistant to beating Kaishu calmly took over the topic. I used this trick while you and the others a while ago beat them to death, and it's over. The rest is up to them queen next to him shivered unconsciously. Those days were really a history of blood and tears even Kaido, the most resistant to beatings, was so beaten that he couldn't get up. Not to mention queen, who always likes to rest, his bones are broken twice in three days forget about bullet, king is following the swordsman route. Isn't he practicing swordsmanship? Gion asked curiously. Whether it is physical skill or swordsmanship, the body is the cornerstone of the strong Kaishu said lightly, and King's physical skills are not weak, but not as pure as Bullet. By the way, Kaidasama has been fighting with the captain recently, so he should be about to advance Queen interrupted suddenly. In fact, he is looking forward the most to Kaido's advancement. Otherwise, he will not be a punching bag every day, this day, because of his curiosity, he lives an uncomfortable life he's just a scientist. Kaido is only a step away from the admiral level. Taking that one step may occur at any time, but he is too anxious. Kaishu naturally knew why Kaido was anxious. But the year old Kaido has now far exceeded his growth rate in the manga. You must know that according to his performance in the manga, after Roger became king of the pirates and when Kazuki Odin returned to Ueno, Kaido probably hadn't reached the admiral level yet. Perhaps it was after the battle with Kazuki Odin that he really stepped into the threshold of Admiral. The current Kaido, because of Kaishu's influence, has been practicing since he was a child and has experienced more training. There are also gravity bracelets and various resources. Making the distance from becoming a real Admiral level very close. However, now Kaido not only has all kinds of resources provided by Kaishu, but the most important thing is the evolution of his devil fruit, which makes his talent even higher potential and talent will increase accordingly. Even if Kaido suddenly steps into the admiral level tomorrow, Kaishu will not be surprised. At this moment, a powerful conqueror Haki suddenly spread out. Waro Aro Aro Aro, I finally succeeded Kaido's excited roar spread throughout the island. Congratulations, Kaidasama as expected of the vice-captain. Then, two hoarse and flattering voices sounded. Um Kaishu was taken aback. Queen and Gion were also surprised, and then they looked outside happily. 
The three of them quickly appeared in the training field filled with potholes. They saw that Kaido's momentum was astonishing at the moment, and he was happily transforming into a human beast form while looking up to the sky and roaring the sky was humming, the sea was turbulent, and the forest was shaking, all of which seemed to be celebrating the birth of a monster. On the other side, King and Bullet, with bruised noses and bruised faces, were praising Kaido's ass with tears in their eyes. It's hard to imagine that King, who is always cold and arrogant, and Bullet, who is defiant, will show such flattering faces. It seems that Kaido's education is quite successful. Elder brother, I succeeded seeing the arrival of the three, Kaido excitedly showed off to Kaishu. Queen immediately praised, Boss Kaido, I'm afraid he is the youngest person with admiral strength wa aro 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 aro, even my bastard brother only broke through this year when I became years old. I must be stronger than my stupid brother now Kaido got a little carried away and laughed happily with his hands on his hips. Gion and Queen were taken aback when they heard this, and then they looked at Kaishu's face and took two steps back indistinctly. Boom ah. It's amazing, isn't it let's see what improved you have ah, bastard, I'm angry angry show me what your anger can do ah. Elder brother, I was wrong. Please be lighter. Joy begets grief, and Kaido, who hadn't been arrogant for a long time, was beaten mercilessly. Hit him hit him harder bullet squinted his panda eyes with a happy expression. Finally, someone avenged him God knows how many beatings he and King have endured during this time. But it's not completely ineffective, at least in observation hockey. The two of them seem to have touched the threshold. A month later, on Flosco Island. This is a deserted island near the edge of Eight Wall, about three days of sailing away from Wano. At this time, this originally deserted island is full of countless people today. Dozens of ships are docked around the island. Even in the sea area some distance from Flosco Island, there are many spies from various forces. They are either waiting, want to fish in troubled waters or have their own goals. Why are the beasts pirates not here yet they are not fooling us, do they? What's the rush isn't it still too early? I came here all the way from paradise just to join the beasts pirates. I will definitely pass and join the beasts pirates. Snort it must be me I have a bounty of more than million belly that's right these pirates looked around with expressions of disdain and confidence. For them, all the pirates beside them are trash. The reason is simple, they are all confident that they can join the beast pirates. As for the others just a bunch of rubbish of course this is the idea of all the pirates present here. It is even said that some people have gradually begun to have friction and even conflicts with others however, these things still need to be restrained a little bit for the time being. At least now is not the time to make a fuss because of this, these pirates are restraining themselves. But for these crazy guys, their so-called restraint is actually waiting for the opportunity to appear. Asshole do you think that I won't kill you you're just rubbish. Don't talk so much nonsense. Get away from me you're polluting my eyes bastard the pirates looked at each other with killing intent in their eyes. But, just at this time. Clatter an extremely huge ship with the flag of a mildly frowning skull with upward curving horns slowly flutters in the wind. All of a sudden, the atmosphere on the island became a little weird. The pirates who were about to wage war with each other all closed their mouths and stared silently at the incoming ship. Although these guys want to join the beast pirates. But when they are about to face the beast's pirates, apart from excitement, there is more fear in their heart everyone can feel the terrifying aura emanating from that huge ship even the surging waves just now calmed down. The sea breeze is also much quieter. Everything around seems overwhelmed by the domineering aura from the ship Gudo many pirates already had sweaty palms and twinkling eyes while swallowing their saliva. They are. Here that's the beast's pirate's main ship, Erebus I'll be seeing Kaishu the beast soon. An azure dragon, Kaido I must join the beast's pirates after a short period of awe, all of the pirates became excited. For them, the benefits of joining the beast's pirates are enormous. Not only will there be fame and protection, but the most important thing is that there will be more opportunities to obtain wealth. Because of this, everyone is gearing up and getting ready. Waro aro 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 looking at the bustling pirates on the island, Kaido laughed heartily and said, Elder brother, there should be tens of thousands of people here, right Kaishu replied casually, although there's a lot of pirates here, there's nothing strange about it. After all, most pirates need a strong shelter in the new world, which is full of danger. Captain is right. Hearing Kaishu's words, everyone nodded in agreement. 
After all, today's Kaishu the Beast, be it reputation or bounty, is only under the four overlords. Whitebeard, Roger, Golden Lion, Red Count. Plus, he's so young and has an equally monstrous little brother. Pirates who want to follow them or seek refuge are flocking towards them. What's more, there are also spies from various forces among them. For example, the Marines, the world government. Boom. With the sound of heavy footsteps hitting the deck, Kaishu's tall figure appeared at the bow. His handsome face and burly figure exuded a demon-like aura all over his body. Gives people a sense of contradiction between being handsome and wild. And with a height of more than seven meters, he gives people an unattainable aura. Kaishu, the beast's Kaido, who also has a burly figure, stands beside him. It's just that compared to Kaishu, Kaido is less extravagant and more heroic. The unintentional aura released from him is even more frightening than Kaishu's. However, everyone's eyes were on Kaishu first and then on Kaido. Because that aura that looks down on everything is not what Kaido possesses today. Hello Trash Kaishu stood at the boat's bow, then looked down at the people on the island while grinning and speaking ferociously, quite. The island became quiet again instantly, and everyone looked at Kaishu expectantly. A cold light flashed in Kaishu's eyes, and then he said casually, I won't tell you some hot-blooded opening remarks since I'm a pirate. Let's get straight to the point do you all want to join my beast's pirates oh of course please let me join. I will always be loyal to you. I'm willing to sacrifice my life for you. Kaishu naturally wouldn't believe the so-called loyalty of these pirates, but he didn't care what purpose these people had. All he needs is a strong crew, nothing more there's too many people here. I only need 000 people, so. After saying this, Kaishu's eyes showed a fierce look, and his murderous aura caused the surrounding temperature to drop sharply. Fight only the person who emerges from hell deserves to board my boat Gudong almost everyone swallowed their saliva. The atmosphere became strangely silent, and everyone's expressions became very hideous. After Kaishu finished speaking, the island became extremely quiet for a moment. Oh I have long wanted to kill you, brat disgusting bastard, you're unworthy of boarding the Erebus kill in just a moment, everyone let out terrifying roars as if they were going crazy. Everyone was extremely excited, and only endless greed was revealed in their eyes. For most pirates, they are not afraid of death at all. On the contrary, for these crazy guys, what they look forward to most is an exciting fight. As long as they can defeat their opponent, that's the best isn't it therefore, at this moment everyone's eyes are filled with tyrannical and bloodthirsty light like a wild beast preparing to find their prey. Kaishu sensed the manic atmosphere on the island, and the corners of his mouth curled up while he spoke casually, then, let's begin go and fight to the fullest oh kill come with a roar, the originally silent island instantly became extremely chaotic. It can be said that these pirates are like terrifying lunatics at this moment, and they have no intention of showing mercy to anyone before them. Go to hell I'm going to kill you and become a member of the beast's pirates. Damn you. Ah. Boom da da da. Ah the brutal battle made people lose their minds, and each of these pirates became more ruthless each second. Tick-tock as the sword sliced through the air, pirates fell one by one while staining the ground red. Die a cruel smile emerged on the man's face as he cut the throat of the enemy in front of him, and when blood sprayed on his face, it made him look ferocious. But before he could be happy, a bullet shot through his chest from behind this is a chaotic battlefield where lives may be lost at any time. Kill is that all it's simply not worth mentioning, okay ah. Uh. Tick tock as the blood splattered, a woman held a huge long sword while looking around with sharp eyes, are you kidding me don't look down on me. Your strength is nothing more than that snapped, she joined the battlefield almost instantly and started slaughtering those around her. At this moment, her powerful strength can be said to be fully displayed. Crackling boom. As the violent roar resounded, everyone looked for their opponents and fought frantically for a while, the battlefield has become extremely terrifying. What will be the next result in fact, it is self-evident. This deserted island has become a bloody battlefield. Everyone is like a lunatic, and they can only kill their opponents in such a battlefield, do you want to maintain your sanity it's almost impossible unless they have the strength to crush the opponents around them. Clang holding a long sword, the pirate screamed frantically, you guys you are nothing worth mentioning at all go and die. Kill what responded to him was a deafening roar and a large number of pirates rushing up as if they were crazy. 
Bang boom. The sound of violent collisions resounded, and the sound of fighting echoed throughout the island. Everyone had already fallen into this frenzied battlefield. At the various pirate ships on the island's periphery, the underworld, disguised marine intelligence agents, world government agents, various spies from kingdoms. All gather here. Is this how the beast's pirates selected their crew it's horrible it seems that Kai Shu is also a brutal guy. Another golden lion with these crew members joining the beast's pirates, their strength will directly catch up with the three overlords of the new world I'm afraid that even the big mom pirates can't compare to the beast's pirates. The first pirate group under the three overlords beast's pirates have big ambitions. Besides, Kaishu the beast and azure dragon Kaido are still so young, maybe they will be the new overlord of the sea in a few years quick, report these messages to. Even though they were so far apart, they could still smell the strong smell of blood coming from the island. All of these people stared wide-eyed while looking at the battlefield and the beast's pirates with fear in their hearts. Several pieces of intelligence and analysis about the beast's pirates were delivered to the hands of the major forces through the Den Den Mushi. There is even a secret monitoring Den Den Mushi, which directly broadcasts the scene of the fighting on the island live. Aboard the beast Erebus. Queen looked at the bloody battlefield where pirates died every second like a meat grinder and said in a regretful tone, Captain, why don't you give these people to me for experiments this is too wasteful. I think they would rather die than be your experimental subject. Gion complained from the side. On the contrary, Queen proudly said, Mu ha ha ha, I just take it that you approve my scientific research ability. No Gion said with disgust. Is this captain's appeal today Bullet looked at the fierce battlefield, his blood was boiling while he looked at Kaishu's tall back. Haya ho ho ho, of course, captain, have a nearly two billion belly bounty Chinjo crossed his arms and said with a smile. Um chirp. There was a violent sound of breaking through the air as a black object galloped across the sea. Snort Kaido snorted coldly, and then his figure suddenly appeared on the coast of the deserted island meters away. Thunder Bagua Kaido's gaze was fixed on the incoming object as he swung his lightning-filled mace. The electric current crackled as the powerful attack ripped through the air, leaving a destruction trail in its wake. The force of the attack blasted a gully on the sea surface while facing the incoming shell boom crash a violent explosion occurred when the lightning collided with the cannonball above the sea then, the flames soared high into the sky, and a deep hole appeared in the sea below. At the same time, seawater surged and undulated wildly in all directions. What happened the pirates on the island, who were in a frenzy of slaughter, were all awakened by the huge noise and stopped their actions one by one. Ah. What exactly is that quick, furl the sails and turn the rudder to steady the boat. The waves are coming. The huge waves caused by the explosion affected various ships in the sea area. On the contrary, Erebus, which is the nearest pirate ship to the center of the explosion, only swayed a few times because of its huge size. Look what is that. At this time, someone pointed to the direction where the shell was shot just now. There, a medium-sized pirate ship was heading towards the island at a fast speed without being affected by the turbulent sea. That 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 flag is. World. World pirates oh my god, it's that mad man, world destroyer, burn the world quick, get out of here. That lunatic will attack all ships that appear before him. Why is that mad dog here don't worry about it so much, just run go, or we will all be killed by him. After clearly seeing the skull flag on the pirate ship, no matter if it is a ship of pirates, a marine warship disguised as a pirate ship, or other forces, all of them panicked. Many pirate ships put down their sails again and here at the fastest speed after their ship became stable. It seems that they are afraid that if they are slower, they will be buried in the sea there's a reason why they're so scared. World Pirates Captain Burndy World is known as the World Destroyer by the world because this guy is a complete lunatic. As long as there's a ship in front of him, whether it is a pirate, a marine warship, a world government ship, or even a celestial dragon's ship, this guy will sink it without hesitation. It's world. What does this guy want? Kaishu's eyes narrowed slightly while looking at the approaching pirate ship coldly. World, are you here to make trouble? Kaido looks at the pirate ship that is getting closer and then at the figure standing at the ship's bow. Burndy World is almost four meters tall, with green hair and a beard, a pair of fierce eyes with a scar on his, and an aura that wants to destroy everything. Bararoro, it's really lively here just two brats can attract so many pirates. 
what a bunch of useless bastards. It's just right, I'll get rid of you all at once Burndy World's fierce eyes swept over Kaishu and Kaido, and then he looked at the deserted island full of pirates. Looking at the group of bloody pirates standing still there, his eyes had a cold, murderous look. Waro Aro Aro Aro, world, what are you doing? Seeing that Waldo ignored his question, Kaido smiled angrily, and his killing intent burst out. Then he faced the sky while roaring, and instantly, he turned into a majestic green dragon flying around the clouds looking for death heat breath the terrifying conical flames sprayed out. And the high temperature instantly changed Burndy World's expression. That dot that is Azure Dragon, Kaido a mythical Zoan fruit is even rarer than Logia it's so scary, despite standing here. You can still feel the terrifying coercion from him. He's only the vice captain. Is this our future pirate group at the same time, looking up at Kaido, who was exuding strong coercion at this moment? All the pirates on the island suddenly have an impulse to worship him, and their desire to join the beast pirates even get stronger this brat Burndy World's pupils shrank, and his expression instantly became more solemn. He quickly raised the giant cannon on the bow with both hands and roared while grinning, more more hundredfold cannon chirp a cannonball shot out, and then it continuously expanded on the way, about a hundred times as large as before. Boom the deafening explosion sounded again, and the dazzling flames illuminated everyone's faces. The shock waves generated by the explosion caused the sea surface to rage, and the waves surged one after another. However, Kaido's heat breath is obviously a continuous output, although the explosion dispersed a large section of flames in the front. But the conical flames in the back broke through the explosion and headed towards Burndy World's ship. More more hundredfold chop Burndy World enlarges the side to times its original size and slashes forward. Boom the conical flame was split in two by Burndy World's sword and flowed from both sides of the ship. I don't know if it's because of the high temperature or because of the confrontation just now. But Burndy World's forehead was dripping with sweat. The way he looks at Kaido also changes from tyranny and contempt at the beginning to solemnity however, the ferocious aura on his body has not diminished in the slightest. Azure Dragon Kaido, you kid has such power. The group of trash from Marines still underestimated you. Burndy World looked up at the dragon above him while speaking ferociously. Tell me your purpose, World Kaido looked down at Burndy World and said in a condescending tone. Obviously, Kaido also didn't take Burndy World seriously. It should be said that apart from Kaishu, Kaido didn't take anyone seriously. Then, needless to say, Burndy World smiled ferociously while speaking, of course, to thank you for bringing so many pirates together. And GCO meant suddenly, Kaishu and Kaido almost frowned at the same time and giving me a chance to kill all of you waro aro aro aro, what a big words, world just with your strength, you want to act recklessly in front of me. You're way too arrogant. Kaido hovered in the sky, giving a more oppressive aura as he moved amidst the dense clouds. Kaido's disdainful words resounded throughout the sea. Letting all pirates and intelligence personnel from various forces see Kaido's dominance. You brat, it must be your bad luck to meet me here Burndy World's eyes were bloodshot when he heard Kaido's contemptuous words, and his brutal, murderous aura filled the surroundings. More more tenfold speed Burndy World's speed increased instantly, and he appeared in front of the green dragon in the air like teleporting. Go to hell, brat. Armament Hockeys covered his fist as he punched the dragon's head. Boom but when Burndy World's fist was still a few centimeters away from the green dragon's head, it was firmly grasped by the dragon's claws, and he couldn't move. The distance of a few centimeters was like a natural moat, preventing Burndy World from advancing forward. Is this everything you can do demolition Gust Kaido opened his mouth mockingly and blasted a series of crescent wind blades on Burndy World's chest. Fortunately, Burndy World covered his chest with armament hockey in time, but he was still sent flying and almost fell into the sea. Burndy World somersaulted several times in midair before landing on the shore, then he wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth while looking at the dragon in the air with hatred. He didn't expect that the kid who used to be a member of the Rock's Pirate would have such strength. It's not that Burndy World is conceited but that Kaido's strength has far exceeded the scope of his age. You are listening to this audiobook on web novel audiobooks Tkthigud. Because everyone in the sea has a consensus, whether it is physical skills, swordsmanship, or devil fruit ability, the foundation of these abilities is physical fitness and the body needs the most time to polish through exercise. 
Even Zoan fruit users, who have the greatest physical enhancement, cannot open a large distance at once. As for genius which one is not a genius among the pirates who can thrive in the New World Trafalgar D, Water Law and the manga, when he was years old, is not even as strong as the seven warlords of the sea, when Doflamingo has developed his devil fruit until it awakened at years old, is at best has the strength of admiral's candidate. Kaido is only years old now, and he is in the rapid growth stage of developing bones and polishing his body. But he could easily repel Burndy World, who was at his peak. This is no longer within the scope of genius. But a total monster a monster that completely breaks the perception of the sea world destroyer it's nothing more than that. Kaido's sarcasm skills are extremely high, and I don't know if he learned his venomous tongue from Kaishu. Brat, don't get carried away Burndy World glared at Kaido, then he grabbed a handful of stones and shouted angrily, I will kill you more more hundredfold speed Jojo the stone was shot at Kaido at an extremely fast speed. So fast that even those people with observation hockey could not react at all. Boom. Of course, Kaido's observation hockey can definitely capture the speed of the stone, but he did not dodge or avoid it at all. The stone hit the dragon's scales, causing a loud explosion, but Kaido remained unmoved and continued to fly in the sky while looking down at Burndy World. How could? Burndy World couldn't believe that Kaido was unscathed. One must know that if an admiral didn't use iron body, tekai, or armament hockey for defense, he couldn't block his attack without getting injured. Are you tickling me? Kaido laughed sarcastically. Damn it Burndy World's pupils become hideous. Then Kaido changed back into a human form and landed heavily on the deserted island, making a big hole, and the dust and smoke to scattered everywhere. The sound of falling gravel echoed in the dust as Kaido shook his head and stood up from the hole uninjured. World, with only this strength, I'm not interested in playing around with you. Play Burndy World's complexion instantly became ferocious, and his eyes were filled with tyrannical light. His murderous aura made people shudder as he roared in a cold voice, You said you were playing with me stop being so arrogant. Who do you think I'm I'm World Destroyer, Burndy World remember my name well, Kaido World stomped hard on the ground, and like a heavy cannon, he charged directly at Kaido. More more tenfold strength come on, kill me if you can Kaido grins while kicking forward. Boom dust, sand, and rock flew everywhere while the island shook. After the collision, Kaido took a step back while Burndy World's trembling right hand was knocked back. Kaido felt the pain in his foot. He didn't expect Burndy World to be able to hurt him. More more fruit is not really easy to deal with. With Burndy World's current strength multiplied by ten times, it is not much weaker than Garp's iron fist, but World was also bleeding from the corner of his mouth after the shock. It's not over yet World gritted his teeth and stood up, then he exuded a fierce aura while pulling out the musket at his waist. More more hundredfold speed bang 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 Burndy World fired several shots with frantic expressions. Speed is power the speed of the bullet, coupled with the blessing of his devil fruit ability, is not comparable to the stone he just casually throws. Bang even Kaido covered his whole body with armament hockey to stop those bullets. Kaido after Burndy World ran out of bullets, he discarded the musket casually and rushed out. Ah! Kaido also showed no sign of weakness as he clenched his right fist before slamming it hard at Burndy World. Bang the collision of the two fists causes an extremely loud explosion, and the ground under their feet cracks inch by inch. With the two at the center, a powerful shock wave raged around. At this time the tops of their heads were suddenly shrouded in shadows, and the sun was completely blocked. What? What is that a huge shadow enveloped the island like a layer of black cloth slowly covering it? Oh even he came to join in the fun. Kaishu looked up at the sky, and then a cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Island it's an island the island is falling. How could an island fall from the sky quick? Run. It's over, we can't escape, we will all die here the pirates on the deserted island finally saw the shadow above their heads clearly. It turned out to be an island that fell from the sky. The faces of all pirates changed drastically as a shadow of death shrouded everyone's hearts. There is only one person in the sea who can do this kind of thing Shiki. The golden lion many pirates looked at the falling island above their heads and sat down on the ground in despair. Jihahaha. A loud laughter suddenly burst from the sky as if responding to everyone's speculation. 
Then, a pirate ship with a golden lion head decoration on the bow and rows of oars on both sides of the ship appeared in the sky. It's really him. The flying pirate, Shiki the golden lion why is he here on the sea surface of the turbulent sea, the intelligence personnel from different forces stared at the sky in horror. With his golden hair that resembles a lion's mane and a body that exudes the temperament of a hero, he leaves a deep impression on everyone who sees him. This is golden lion's ability. It's too exaggerated not to mention those ordinary pirates, even Bullet and King, were stunned while looking at the falling island in shock. The cigar on Queen's mouth had already fallen off. Really, this guy still greets in such an old-fashioned way Kaishu calmly watched the island getting closer and faster while complaining helplessly. Captain, do you care about how others say hello Bullet pointed upwards and said stiffly. The corners of Kaishu's mouth turned up, and then he clenched his right hand until veins bulged one by one, and pitch black air gradually enveloped his entire arm. The next moment, he rushed to the sky like an arrow from the string eight extremes fists, mountain crusher Kaishu's fist crackled with dark red lightning raging around it fiercely. Boom Kaishu hit the island center like a meteorite falling on the earth. All of a sudden, the world seemed to reverberate with the deep, powerful hum of an ancient bell, its deafening sound echoing across the entire sea area. Bang, under everyone's eyes, full of disbelief, the center of the falling island shattered the sunlight shines on the deserted island from the shattered parts. The pirates, who were still panicking with pale faces and waiting to die, looked at the tall figure under the light. He's like a god the cracks on the center of the falling island are still spreading, and the light shining through the gaps is getting bigger and more numerous. The next second punta the entire falling island shattered, and then the rock fragments rained down. But because of the shock wave in the center of the falling island, only a few fragments fell to the deserted island below. Even if a huge fragment fell on the deserted island below, it was smashed by the joint efforts of these pirates. Oh we! Survive Kaishu 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 the beasts is simply a monster. All the pirates on the island cheered happily after surviving the disaster. Looking at Kaishu's tall back, their eyes are full of reverence. Jihahahaha, Kaishu, long time no see looking at the broken island, which was the result of Kaishu's punch, Shiki's eyes flashed with a trace of solemnity. However, he quickly recovered his rebellious expression and greeted him warmly. Shiki, tell me, what is your business in coming here? Kaishu was not polite at all and asked directly. With Shiki's control, his pirate ship also fell to the sea on the edge of the deserted island. Shiki glanced at the corpses in Kaishu's back and at the pirates, who still had a murderous look on them. With a flash of light in his eyes, he laughed and said, Kaishu, you're really ambitious, unlike that guy Whitebeard who plays house games and doesn't look like a pirate. Having said that, the golden lion looked wildly at Kaishu with eyes full of ambition, Kaishu, come and help me as long as we join forces, we will definitely rule the world. Be my right hand. Kaishu looked at the ambitious golden lion coldly and said, Stop dreaming, Shiki. Who do you think you are I will reach the summit with my own efforts Golden Lion was not surprised to hear Kaishu's refusal. This is not the first time that Kaishu has rejected his invitation, and he also knows that Kaishu's ambition is not lower than him at all. It's really crisp, Kaishu. Jihahaha. Golden Lion laughed boldly, not at all annoyed by rejection. Then give me all the pirates you have here. I have lost a lot of crew members recently. Golden Lion was not polite at all and directly stated the purpose of his appearance. Kaishu looked at Golden Lion like looking at an idiot, why should I give you the crew members I chose Shiki, you're out of your mind um the smile on Golden Lion's face stopped abruptly, and a cold light flashed in his eyes. Kaishu, it seems that after those incompetent marines recently called you beasts, do you really think you can talk to me on an equal footing pirates who are only immersed in the past are a group of incompetent people? Isn't that what you said at the beginning why have you forgotten it? Senior Kaishu looked at Golden Lion, whose complexion gradually became gloomy, with a flat but slightly mocking face. Jihahaha, it seems that you have become really arrogant, Kaishu Golden Lion speaks with a cruel smile in his eyes. Then, without any warning, he drew out his two swords and slashed them towards Kaishu. This is Golden Lion, a true pirate if there is a disagreement, do it directly, without any nonsense. Kaishu stood there motionless as if he couldn't react. A brat who can only talk big. Golden Lion lifted his chin arrogantly while smoking a cigar. 
Just when the flying slash was less than one meter away from him, Kaishu suddenly stretched out his hand covered with armament hockey towards the incoming attack. No impossible golden lion looks at Kaishu in shock with a wide open mouth. Boom Kaishu tightened his grip on the flying slash. With a powerful force, a crack appeared on it before ultimately shattering it. However, the ground under Kaishu's feet cracked, and the huge force directly pressed him several inches to the ground. No one has ever dared to catch my flying slash, Kaishu. You are the first Golden Lion said in admiration. Although Golden Lion is a devil fruit user, his strongest skills are swordsmanship and hockey. He is a swordsman, not weaker than Roger. His flying slash, even Big Mom, didn't dare to take it on with her body in armament hockey. Chirp, Kaishu did not speak any nonsense. He leaped into the air and delivered a swift kick to Golden Lion. Boom Golden Lion's defensive slash was not weak at all, and it collided with Kaishu's swift kick. The dazzling collision made the pirates unable to open their eyes, and the powerful shock wave raged uncontrollably. Boom, the entire sky seemed to be torn into two halves. The dense black clouds kept colliding and confronting each other. Suddenly, two figures darted out from the dense black clouds with lightning speed. Let's get out of here. Get on the boat and leave this island it's terrible, ah uh, don't be affected, otherwise. Ah uh, such a terrible collision, even the aftermath is not something ordinary pirates can resist. When the two people's battlefield moves, many pirates that can't leave on time are torn apart by the shock wave. The pirates who reacted ran away one after another while not daring to look back at the terrifying battlefield. Golden Lion, Kaishu, those two bastards burned the world pulled out another pistol from his waist and cursed fiercely, go to death more more hundredfold speed chirp don't get in the way, world, didn't you see that bastard is having fun. Kaido's tall body was not slow at all, and he waved the mace to block all the bullets. It's almost over, you bastard. Too weak Kaido turned into a human beast form, and then he held the mace in both hands while grinning as he rushed out. Thunderbagwa the mace wrapped around by dark red lightning slammed at Burndy World extremely fast. More more tenfold speed Burndy World wrapped his fist with armament hockey and faced Kaido without showing any sign of weakness. Boom after a moment of stalemate, the corner of World's helmet was broken off, and his armament hockey shattered as Kaido beat him into the ground with a stick. When Kaido became serious, Burndy World was no match at all not to mention, Kaido, who has entered the admiral level now, even Kaido from a month ago, was not Burndy World opponent. Lion's threat, earth bind the surrounding ground suddenly surged like seawater, forming four huge lion heads surrounding Kaishu. Then, following Golden Lion's hand movement, the lion heads made of rock all charged towards Kaishu. Eight extremes fists, mountain crusher Kaishu's eyes were cold, then his feet crushed the ground as he delivered a powerful punch to the lion's head. With brute force, he rushed out of the falling rock. Clang Kaishu didn't stop. He rushes towards Golden Lion like heavy artillery. Kaishu, I recognize you boom the sharp two swords collided with Kaishu's fist. Kaishu's eyes locked on Golden Lion's movement, and then he covered his right leg with Arminette hockey before throwing a spinning back kick toward Golden Lion's chest. Golden Lion immediately relied on his flying ability to float backward while the Kagarashi stabbed towards Kaishu's throat at a tricky angle. He knew that Kaishu's physical defense was amazing. So now he focused on the vulnerable parts of his body. It has to be said that these pirates who have fought half their lives at sea have extremely rich combat experience. The fiery linear flying slash bursts through the air while a pitch black soul sweeps directly towards it clang. The powerful kick scatters the linear flying slash, and then it continues towards Golden Lion unabated. Boom facing the incoming attack, Golden Lion slashed forward with terrifying red lightning intertwined with his sword. Kaishu, who was covered in armament hockey, was blasted away by this slash. The dilapidated ground seemed to have been plowed again, forming an exaggerated colossal pit. Kaishu, you are really not simple Golden Lion's eyes were narrowed. At this moment, he already regarded Kaishu as an opponent of the same level as him. Ya ha ha ha, Shiki, is that all you can do don't talk big, brat, be careful. I might kill you if you can do it, just try it. The eyes of the two, which were full of killing intent, met with each other while their icy conqueror hockey kept colliding. Zizi the dark red field was shrouded, 
and the dust in the sky rolled countless gravels, forming a strong storm, all crushing towards the Kaishu. Chirp, then, a sharp flying slash tore the earth apart. Kaishu's face was cold, and his powerful observation hockey locked onto Golden Lion's figure. Then he swung his heavy fists one after another, showing no mercy with his each punch at all. Gudong. It's terrible, it's like two monsters the scene, like the end of the world and the incomparable momentum, gives people a sense of oppression that they can't breathe. Golden Lion, your conqueror Haki, compared to that guy, Roger, is still a bit behind. The corner of Kaishu's mouth curled up. What did you say Kaishu, I dare you to say it again Golden Lion's bright eyes were full of bloodthirsty killing intent as he looked coldly at Kaishu. Yeah ha ha ha. Kaishu was not at all afraid of Golden Lion's extremely strong murderous aura, and with a smile, he repeated his words, I'll dare to say it again your conqueror Haki is not as good as Roger's. That is to say, Golden Lion, your will is not strong enough brat, you really pissed me off Golden Lion rushed in front of Kaishu in an instant and slashed down. Clang. The two swords slashed on Kaishu's chest, and there was a sound of iron clanging. Flames splatter around however, Kaishu, who did not cover his chest with armament hockey in time, was cut with a cross wound. In terms of attack power, Golden Lion, the top swordsman, is undoubtedly better however, such a wound healed almost in the blink of an eye. What a monster seeing Kaishu's wounds that disappeared in the blink of an eye, Golden Lion sighed with a frown. Boom the dark red lightning flickered wildly, and the resulting shockwave caused widespread destruction. Meanwhile, Golden Lion stumbled backward as Kaishu launched a series of violent attacks. Boom the sharp, dark green nails weaved into a huge, dense claw net covering Golden Lion's whole body. Seeing this, Golden Lion's pupils shrank sharply, and expression couldn't help but change color. The speed displayed by Kaishu is no less than him Boom Lion, scattering valley the two swords in Golden Lion's hands turned into afterimages, and the terrifying compressed air-based slashes constantly collided with the claws. The sky looks like a rag that is twisted and torn, which makes one's scalp tingle. The sky is like a rag that is twisted and torn, which makes one's scalp tingle. On the devastated land, huge and exaggerated sword marks kept appearing on the ground. Hiss in many places that were torn apart by the dark green claws, white smoke came out as the area was corroded at a speed visible to the naked eye. Seeing this scene, Golden Lion's eyes couldn't help but narrow, and his expression became more serious. I must admit, Kaishu, you are indeed a terrifying monster. When I was your age, I had to retreat when I encountered an elite vice admiral under the violent attacks that disregard consumption, Golden Lion said with a solemn face after acknowledging Kaishu's strength. Yeah ha 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 ha, Shiki, when I would be at your age, I won't be such a waste Kaishu's hands were cut with more than a dozen neat wounds, but he laughed indifferently. A stinky brat with a sharp mouth, it's time for you to. Golden Lion suddenly appeared beside Kaishu while screaming loudly as he swiftly swung his two sharp swords, turning them into black afterimages that pierced Kaishu's vital parts mercilessly, one after another. Boom the whole deserted island was shaking and groaning as two individuals were engaged in a fight to death on the island. The crumbling ground was constantly fracturing, with enormous crevices in every direction, making one's heart tremble. Boom crack two strands of dark red lightning shrouded the vast battlefield, constantly impacting and wreaking havoc the two figures were fighting crazily, neither of them willing to give in half a point. There was no fancy technique on the battlefield, only speed, strength, and swordsmanship. Kaishu's huge fist, which was covered with armament hockey, blasted towards Golden Lion's head, but it was directly dodged by him, then, he took advantage of Kaishu's lack of time to slash down. Clang boom although Kaishu blocked the slash, Golden Lion's swift kick still hit him in the abdomen. While Kaishu's face distorted, and he couldn't help vomiting blood as he flew upside down. Boom the ground trembled, and the sky was filled with sand and dust. Jihahaha, Kaishu, you are still far from being my opponent. Golden Lion, who also looked a bit untidy but far better than Kaishu, held a pair of swords while speaking proudly. Kaishu is obviously not Golden Lion's opponent, but with his strong physique, he can be on par with Golden Lion. Although most of the time, it is Kaishu who resists Golden Lion's flying slash. However, Golden Lion didn't dare to block Kaishu's fist. That unreasonable strength simply surpassed the giants known for their strength. 
A slash N, here, we are talking about giants at the same level of strength, don't compare them with giants at the Marine Vice Admiral level. Golden Lion's two swords turned into afterimages again and continued to slash towards Kaishu. Kaishu showed no sign of weakness as his fist collided with Golden Lion's attacks. Boom. Bang. The dust is flying everywhere, the ground is sinking, and a bottomless pit is created all over the land. Kaishu's prehistoric beast-like body was full of a sense of oppression. On the other hand, with a sword in his hand, Golden Lion's aura is like a demon that devours people. Jihaha, you tough brat, let's save our fight for next time Golden Lion suddenly sheathed his sword and took out a cigar before lighting it again. The sword wound on Kaishu's body healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Glancing at Golden Lion, he grinned loudly, Shiki, you are really strong, but next time we meet, you will definitely not be my opponent anymore, ya ha ha ha. Golden Lion is one of the three overlords of the sea, a top swordsman, and has a powerful conqueror Haki, which is indeed much stronger than Kaishu, who only has an intermediate admiral level in terms of strength. But he can only create superficial wounds on his body, and it would be very difficult to leave permanent scars on his body like Roger did before. Similarly, Kaishu can't do anything with Golden Lion, and the battle has always been at a disadvantage. As a float float fruit user, Golden Lion is not afraid of a war of attrition, but he doesn't use his abilities very much. The deserted island under his feet can be controlled by Golden Lion at any time, and he can even fly away directly. The two have been fighting for a while, but they are really only testing each other's strength. Since no one can do anything to anyone, and there are many people from the various forces around. There is no need to fight anymore. Besides, in case of being targeted by someone, especially by the world government, the loss outweighs the gain don't talk big, brat. You are still far behind if you want to catch up with me Golden Lion said coldly with an ugly expression. However, he also had to admit in his heart that the Kaishu's strength improved at an incredible rate. In just a few months, he has already stepped into the admiral level. You must know that a few months ago, Kaishu couldn't even beat that crazy woman, Big Mom. But he, Golden Lion, is the man who wants to rule the sea from the sky, and he will never be weaker than anyone else this is the confidence that belongs to the strong in the sea after speaking, Golden Lion flies into his pirate ship before departing. Is. Is it over who won it must be Golden Lion. He is one of the three overlords of the sea no. I think it should be Kaishu, the beast who won. I think so too. With Golden Lion's brutal personality, he will definitely kill Kaishu if he wins. And the purpose of his coming here is to subdue those pirates. But, he just now. It must be that Golden Lion recognized Kaishu's strength. Yes anyway, I don't believe that Golden Lion will lose to a young pirate. This is big news that's right just because Kaishu the Beast can fight like that with Shiki, the Golden Lion, proves how extraordinary the Beast Pirates are Kaishu the Beast, another terrifying monster is born. Hearing the sudden stop of the collision on the island and seeing Golden Lion's pirate ship departures, the intelligence agents from the various forces in the distance exploded with chatter. Many people have already picked up the Den Den Mushi and wanted to spread the news from here as soon as possible. They thought it was just a crew selection for the Beast's pirates. Moreover, they also want to see which pirates will join Beast's pirates and to what extent the power of Beast's will increase. But unexpectedly, Burndy World suddenly popped up halfway. Letting them see the power of the Beast's pirates Vice Captain, Azure Dragon, Kaido Burndy World, who was feared by all major forces, was utterly crushed by Kaido. In the end, Kaido actually used the Conqueror Hockey Entanglement, which is rare even in New World, to defeat Burndy World directly in an instant. This level of strength is shocking most importantly, Azure Dragon, Kaido, is still very young. He's only in his allies. And just when everyone was shocked by Kaido's display of strength, they didn't expect Shiki the Golden Lion to come down suddenly and as soon as he appeared on the stage, he showed his strength as the overlord of the sea, and an island fell from the sky. Just when everyone thought that the pirates on the island would be crushed to death. Kaishu's domineering punch directly shattered an island. Afterward, an earth-shattering battle between Golden Lion and Kaishu started the flying slash that could split the sea, the domineering fists that smashed the mountains, and the conqueror hockey that overwhelmed the sea made everyone feel fear. Even in the aftermath of the battle, they dare not to get close. Although they don't know what the final outcome is. 
But just because Golden Lion and Kaishu stood on the deserted island intact is enough to explain a lot of things. Golden Lion can't defeat Kaishu otherwise, with Golden Lion's cruel character, he would never show any mercy to those who oppose him. This makes everyone feel disbelief. After all, Kaishu is still very young. Will he surpass Zebek in the future one by one, the information was passed to the hands of the various forces. Almost all forces analyzed Kaishu and Beast's pirates immediately. The other side. Seeing Golden Lion leave, Kaido brought Burndy World, who was covered in blood, to Kaishu. Boom throwing Burndy World on the ground casually, he asked, Elder brother, what should we do with this guy his strength is not bad. Do you want to? Kaido still cherishes talent very much. Burndy World the wounds on Kaishu's body have all healed, and he is completely fine now. If it weren't for the torn clothes on his body, it would be impossible to tell that Kaishu had experienced a top-notch fight. Looking at the dying world on the ground, Kaishu frowned slightly. Burndy World's character is too difficult to control. He is a total lunatic full of destructive desires. It's hard to get such a person to surrender world, would you like to join my beasts pirates Kaishu didn't talk nonsense and asked directly. Cough. Burndy World coughed up two mouthfuls of blood while staring at Kaishu with ferocious eyes and speaking coldly, are you kidding me how could I surrender to a brat since I lost, I have nothing to say, just take my life the corners of Burndy World's mouth turned up, revealing his teeth stained with blood. At this moment, there was no trace of fear in his eyes. As a true man of the sea, he is never afraid of death Kaishu looked at Burndy World's unruly eyes without any surprise. It is almost impossible for this lunatic to surrender. A trace of green light flashed in Kaishu's pupils, and then he grabbed Burndy World by the throat while two sharp fangs protruded from his mouth. In this case, I will send you on your way after he spoke, Kaishu opened his mouth wide and bit Burndy World's neck. Please. Stop at this time, a weak voice came from not far away. Kaishu's sharp fangs stopped less than one centimeter away from Burndy World's neck. After looking up, Kaishu saw a short man leaning on an four pole while walking over from the coast with difficulty. There were three more people behind him, two men and one woman. Brother. You seeing Biojack and the others' appearances, Burndy World's calm expression changed instantly. Biojack led three crew members and knelt in front of Kaishu and Kaido while pleading, Kaishu, please spare World's life. We are willing to give all of our treasures to you. Please the four of them bowed their heads together towards Kaishu. Oh want me to release your captain Kaishu pinched Burndy World with one hand, and then his eyes narrowed slightly while he smiled coldly, do you think it's possible the rule of the sea, the winner gets everything, the loser has nothing as for your treasure. After I kill you all, the treasure you have will naturally belong to me. Kaishu's words made Biojack and the three crew members behind him tremble while dripping with sweat. Kaishu, just kill me. This has nothing to do with them. Burndy World looked at Kaishu weakly and said. You are not qualified to negotiate terms with me now you. After speaking, Kaishu's eyes flashed with bloodthirsty light, and he said calmly, Okay, the chatting is over. I will give you one last chance to answer. Will you surrender or be buried in the sea? No, matter how many times you ask, my answer would always be. World Burndy World was about to refuse when he was interrupted loudly by Biojack. World, have you forgotten what we promised to everyone world's tall body trembled a little, then he lowered his head slightly and said, stay alive revenge yes, you must survive to get revenge have you forgotten everyone's hatred Biojack said in a low tone. I don't burn the world said weakly while looking at Biojack with firm and fierce eyes. Then how do we take revenge when we die Biojack looked at burn the world and asked continuously. This. Then, are you sure this person can help us burn the world glanced at Kaishu, and his tone was still a bit unconvinced, but he no longer called him a brat. What do you think Biojack asked rhetorically? Humph Burndy World snorted softly, but he still looked at Kaishu and said, Kaishu, we can join your pirate group, but after saying this, Burndy World said in a tone full of hatred, I must kill someone, and for this, I will offend a behemoth that you can never afford to offend. Are you sure you want me to board your ship interesting? Who is it Kaishu asked with interest. Burndy World said word by word, I want to kill a celestial dragon, Saint Roseward after doing this, it will provoke the pursuit of the world government and the celestial dragons ya yeah, ha ha ha, world, what are you talking about since the first day I went to sea? 
I already made enemies with celestial dragons and the world government. Do you think I will be afraid Kaishu laughed wildly while speaking in a domineering and fierce tone. Celestial dragons, it's not like we haven't killed any of them before Kaido was carrying a mace and said casually with a disdainful expression. The original rocks pirates never put the so-called world nobles in their eyes. Looting heavenly tribute and killing celestial dragons, they've done it. What's more, during the battle in the Valley of Gods, Kaido killed several celestial dragons by himself. The so-called world nobles may be able to scare others, but in Kaishu and Kaido's eyes, they are just trash boy, you don't even know how terrifying those celestial dragons are, they are. Burndy World speaks angrily. Okay I'm not interested in knowing how strong they are. I'm more afraid that they're not strong enough ya ha 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 ha, if I can't surpass them, how can I become the king of the world Kaishu interrupts Burndy World and declares his ambition. Looking at Kaishu, who exudes an aura full of confidence, Burndy World suddenly felt that he might be able to do it. If it's him, it should be possible. Burndy World suddenly felt this way. After staring at Kaishu for a long time, Burndy World closed his eyes briefly before speaking, in that case, I will leave my life in your hand and board your ship however, if you don't dare to become the enemy of the world. I will disembark without hesitation okay don't worry about such things Kaishu patted Burndy World's shoulder happily and said, no matter who your enemy is, I will stand in the front world has made a decision, captain, please take care of me, too Biojack nodded as well. As a brother who grew up together, he will persuade Burndy World to think about his decision, but he will not violate any decision that Burndy World made. If World decides to resist to the end, he is also willing to die together. Kaishu looked at Biojack with satisfaction and laughed excitedly the guy here may be weak, but he is an intellectual person. At present, the beast's pirates are not short of combat power, but special talents are relatively scarce. Kaishu will not be the kind of captain who concentrates on managing the affairs of the group. He doesn't want to be delayed by some trivial things. Like Katakuri and King in the manga, they all have potential, and their strength can be further improved. But because of managing the pirate group's management, they have no more time to train. Kaishu won't let such a thing happen to his pirate group he had thought about it a long time ago. Following the example of the marines, he wants to set up a logistic department to manage the trivial issues within the group. The combatants can keep focusing on improving their strength. Ding subdue a crew member, world, reward points of evolution source. Ding subdue a crew member, Burndy world, reward points of evolution source. Ding subdue a crew member, Biojack, reward point of evolution source. Ding subdue a crew member, Garum, reward point of evolution source. Ding subdue a crew member, Sebastian, reward point of evolution source. Ding subdue a crew member, Knighton, reward point of evolution source. The world pirates provide Kaishu with a total of evolution sources. You take world to the ship for treatment. Kaishu said to Knighton. Knighton is a ship doctor with excellent medical skills, and she can even prepare medicine for short-term rejuvenation. Kaishu doesn't intend to use the stamina potion for Burndy World. Before his loyalty reaches a certain level, it's better not to let him know the secrets of the beast's pirates. The same goes for the pirates who passed through the death battle. Kaishu is sure that there must be spies from other forces among those pirates. At least the spies from the CP organization definitely exist. Aboard the Erebus. Yeah ha 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 ha. Welcome to the beast's pirates everyone, you can keep eating and drinking today. After you have enough, Tomorrow is the cadre knockout match Kaishu raised the wine barrel and laughed loudly. Everyone is treated equally, the strong are respected the winner becomes a cadre the loser has nothing ha ha ha, with my strength, I will definitely become a cadre I won't lose I will definitely follow captain and become a cadre of the beast's pirates. So today. Congratulations on joining us, the beast pirates, cheers cheers let's have a party. Oh Chinjo, Gion, Queen, Bullet, and King are also participating in this cadre knockout match. If they don't show their strength and only rely on their qualifications, how will they convince the public in the future and the rules set by Kaishu are, the strong go up, while the weak go down the next day, on another desert island not far from Wano. All crew members of the Beast's Pirates gather here as for Flosco Island, it has been almost sunk by the Kaishu and Golden Lion Kaishu, Kaido, Burndy World, Biojack, and others stood on the boat's bow on the coast. Everyone else, including Burndy World's crew, battles fiercely on the island. 
naturally, no one will question Kaido and Burndy world strength, so participation is unnecessary. Biojack is not a fighter, including Simon and others. These are special talents outside of the combat force. Boom. Bang Kacha, I heard that you are a cadre of the beast's pirates. I want your position hey, you are no match for me. Kill I must become a cadre boom a fierce battle took place on the island, as Kaishu wanted to select the mainstream of the beast pirates in the future. His expectations are very high, and he would rather be deficient than excessive, at least, they needed the strength of the vice admiral level to be competent for the cadre position. Elder brother, what kind of method do you want to use for our pirate group Kaido suddenly asked. The methods of many pirate groups are different. For example, the Whitebeard Pirates are directly divided into divisions. Except for the first few captains, the strength of the others is not strong, and they only have the strength of the Marine Rear Admiral, as Whitebeard protects them very well. This is why Golden Lion said that Whitebeard's Pirates are playing house games. Golden Lion Pirate Group belongs to the Free Range Method, and all cadres can establish their own pirate group. The advantage of this is that it develops rapidly and has a large number of people the disadvantage is that loyalty cannot be guaranteed, and it is easy to breed snakes. But Golden Lion has the ability and confidence to suppress all dissatisfied voices. Of course, there are also pirate groups like the Roger Pirates, where there are only ordinary crew and apprentices. Kaishu turned around and looked at the people on the boat while speaking slowly, under the captain, Kaido is our deputy captain. Everyone must obey his order like they are mine. First of all, Kaishu determines Kaido's status and does not allow anyone to question Kaido except himself when someone reaches the strength of Admiral, they will be the highest cadre of the beast's pirates called Calamity when their strength reaches the Admiral's candidate. They will be called Catastrophe. Three disasters and nine Catastrophe is Kaishu's current arrangement for the combat power of the beast pirates. Because of his ability to evolve Zoan Devil Fruit, Kaishu believes that there should be many cadres who can reach the admiral candidate's level, so he simply set up nine positions. As for the admiral level, calamity cannot be determined by a single devil fruit, will, talent, and skills are all indispensable of course, it would be better if more cadres could reach the admiral level. Kaishu also does not stipulate that there must always be three calamities. There is also the lowest cadre of the group called Cataclysm. They must have the strength of a vice admiral to be qualified as one. The captain and the deputy captain are followed by calamity, catastrophe, and cataclysm. It's a good idea. Biojack thought for a moment and said flatteringly. Vice admiral level is cataclysm, admiral candidate level is catastrophe, and admiral level is calamities. Captain is very ambitious. Calamity has a place for me, Burndy World said with fierce eyes. No, you can only be a catastrophe now Kaishu rejected Burndy World mercilessly and said calmly. Humph, I will become a calamity soon. Burndy World snorted coldly and gritted his teeth. He didn't argue too much, as he also knew that he was still a certain distance away from the admiral level. Wa-ro-ro-ro-ro, I can't wait for the day when all the positions are filled Kaido's eyes flashed with anticipation, and he laughed excitedly. Bang! Boom the whole day and night of fights is finally over, and of course, there will be many casualties. Nearly percent of the pirates recruited yesterday died, leaving only around 000 people alive. This is also because as long as your opponent loses their combat effectiveness or is seriously injured, they are not allowed to kill them. Otherwise, the number of pirates that Kaishu recruited yesterday would have to be reduced by at least half. But those who survive will become the official crew of Beast's Pirates from now on. Kaishu held everyone's information in his hand. In fact, only Chinjo, Gion, and Queen were standing at the end. The other pirates were exhausted and surrendered in the end. Everyone returned to the ship, and the deck of the huge ship was enough to accommodate so many people. Ya yeah, ha ha ha, yes, there are so many people who survived. From now on, you will be a member of the Beast's Pirates. Carrying the name of the Beasts on your back, Let's have fun on the sea Kaishu and Kaido stood on the high platform in front of everyone while speaking, their words full of confidence and enthusiasm. Oh long live beasts pirates I will definitely work hard to become a cataclysm dammit, this time I didn't even meet the standard of the lowest cadre of beasts pirates. After all the passions had been vented, Kaishu began to appoint cadres. Everyone already knows the rules for the cadre position of beasts pirates, 
now let's start the appointment Kaido holds the position of deputy captain, and his status is second only to me. Everyone, including the top cadre, must obey his orders when I'm not in the ship, the orders of the deputy captain shall prevail. The three calamities can have their own title, which is temporarily vacant there are nine temporary positions for catastrophe, which is only below the calamity. Moreover, they can refuse the order from the calamity currently, there are only four members of the nine catastrophe in Beast's Pirates, namely, World, Gion, Chinjo, and Queen. The last is the Cataclysm position, which are Magnus, Nidon, Garum, Sebastian, Gaspard, and Gideon. None of the cadres announced by Kai Shu are unconvinced because these cadres have all been promoted by their own strength. Needless to say, the Nine Catastrophe is second only to Admiral in strength, beyond the reach of everyone. Burndy World's three crew members are Knighton, Garum, and Sebastian. Although they don't look very good in the original work, they were already very old when they appeared. Knighton is years old, but she can still fight with the Boa Hancock. The three people who are now at their peak all possess Vice Admiral level strength. Otherwise, they would not be able to follow Burndy World all the time. Magnus is also a big shot in the New World. He was born in East Blue and is known as the Gold Thief. He owns about one third of the world's gold. Yes, he was the previous user of the Joel Joel fruit before the Golden Emperor. He's currently strongest among the Cataclysm. Originally, with his strength and ability, there was no need to join any pirate group. But wealth is attractive, and if you have a lot of wealth but don't have enough strength, sooner or later, you will be eaten by a pack of wolves without leaving a trace of bone. Magnus naturally understands this truth. In the manga, the Golden Emperor, Guild Tesoro, relied on wealth to maintain relationships with the Celestial Dragon so that he could take advantage of both black and white. Magnus didn't want to have anything to do with the Celestial Dragons or the world government, so he found the Beast's Pirates. Gaspard is the Paramecia user of the Gummy Candy Devil Fruit. He was originally a rear admiral from the Marine headquarters, but he betrayed the Marines for unknown reasons and was known as the Marines' biggest stain. He is now a vile man who has reached the level of Marine Vice Admiral. Gideon is a Paramecia user of the Iron Iron Fruit and captain of the Poker Pirates. Because he offended Achiku and was hunted down, he originally wanted to escape back to paradise, but now he joins the Beast's Pirates. All cadres have the right to form their own exclusive ships, but they are not allowed to form pirate groups. Everyone else, you are free to choose which branch you want to join. After Kaishu finished speaking, it became lively again. Hey, where do you want to go I want to work under Magnus. He is the richest. I'm going to serve Underworld. No, I'd better serve Giansima. Giansima is so beautiful. If you don't want your life, you can be Queen's subordinate. No, 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 Queen is the best. I think Mr. Chinjo is better. 